The boot process was successful. This happens every time, but I'm never sure what to say to them first. <laughs> you mean like a greeting? There's no need for that, they're just machines. But things like that might affect the performance of these models. Because they have a mind? Their emotions and things are completely fate. It's no different than an AI. It can't possibly be that sensitive. Well, until we rule it out completely, we should at least be kind to them. So you say. All right, from this moment on, you will be registered as candidate unit number 031. Please repeat your number back to me. Unit number 031. Hmm? Did its pronunciation sound a little odd to you? You're worrying too much. Let's hurry up and haul it out. So this is the one. I've been waiting to see it in action. Now, try getting up.
This model's loaded with a nearly pure form of that crystal. I can't wait to see what kind of results it gets. Unit number 031, can you hear me? Confirm your surroundings. Tell us any abnormalities you're feeling in your sensors or any other functions. The readouts seem fine. Monitoring system is fully operational. Okay, we're gonna test your performance inside the battle chamber now. When you hear the buzzer, consider everything that moves an enemy and eliminate them. Sorry to do this just after you've woken up, but it'll be good to put you through your paces. That was better than we could have hoped for. Hey, what's with all the bodies? You made it fight that many on its first time? Don't worry, it did great. This is a new high score for the first battle results. Well done, unit number 031. Stand by for further instruction.
We're done testing, but there's still one thing left to do today. I'm going to temporarily shut down your optics. Can you close your eyes? We're going to transfer the data from the destroyed units into your memory. Run a diagnostic check while we're doing it and report any malfunctions. Understood? Anything to report? All right then, unit number 031, give us a simple report of today's battle results. This was the first test battle against others of my model. Seven units destroyed. Below 15% damage sustained. Don't seem to be any problems. <laughs> was that... Hmm? Did I say something funny? Does it have an accent? Accent? Do you not understand the words coming out of my mouth? No, we do, but... See? I wasn't hearing things. The unit's speech really is peculiar. Ah, you don't need to yell. Is the language interface not set to default? Sheesh. If we'd known this, we would have reset it in advance. Yeah, the base's personality might be coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the volunteers were from the Kansai area. But it just woke up. Would it be exhibiting such distinct mannerisms this early? It may be the effect of an enlarged plume of dusk, the basis of their mind. Perhaps it's accelerating their personality development.
but I don't want to waste this feedback data. Those are the best results we've ever seen. Leave it, it'll be fine. It can understand us anyway. This is just one of those things that makes science interesting. <sighs> there you go again. This unit is going to be communicating with the others. What if this effect spreads? Not only that, but because this is an anomaly, it doesn't seem to have a 100% accurate accent either. But if it has a personality, that might speed up the development of its mind. She's right. All right, unit number 031, we'll explain things from the top. You are a weapon created to fight against unique enemies. Therefore, your combat performance is prioritized over all else. But in order for you to use a particular ability, you've been given a certain amount of awareness. And that makes your performance difficult to quantify. So we've been pitting test units against each other as a selective growth process. It's all in the service of achieving higher performance. And we don't want to waste any plumes of dusk. But regardless of your ego, there is one rule you must abide by. You might as well think of it as an order. The only order is to destroy everything we identify as enemies and to emerge victorious. Though your ego will give you some flexibility when planning tactics, there is no need to think about extraneous side issues. Use everything you have to win a fight. That's all you need to concentrate on. Understood.
饿。It's a pleasure meeting you. You mean like how this is our first encounter? In that case, yeah. What are you doing here? I've never heard your accent before. It's intriguing. They said stuff about my accent too earlier. Do I really talk that funny? I wouldn't say it's strange. It was just surprising. What's that thing? It's a dog. It must have wandered in. A dog. My unit number is zero two four. I wouldn't call it my name, but that's how they refer to me. What's yours? I'm unit number zero three one. They're up to the thirties. I see. That must mean they're finally creating units loaded with full-sized ones. This one wants to say hello too. It does. You can understand what dogs say. Kind of. After carefully comparing its mannerisms and slight variances in its barking. I just figured it out. What's the point in doing that with a dog? The point? Hmm. There isn't one, I suppose. Are you interested in what I'm doing, though? Sounds like that's all the time we have today. I need to get back. I hope to see you again.
Well, let's get right to the feedback on today's battle. What's that? This is a plume of dusk. Each of the units you destroyed had one inside them. These are much smaller than the one installed in you, though. Are you looking for something? Huh? Who, me? I just wondered if you were looking for me. 
I did express a hope yesterday that we would meet again after all. Would you like to sit with me? This rock is large enough to accommodate us both. Uh. It would be more relaxing than standing. Thanks. Can I ask you something? Hmm? What is it? Other units think about stuff that doesn't have to do with fighting and missions? Do you have such thoughts? To tell you the truth, I can't really say. Feels like I do, though. Units of our model are all given a mind. It's so that we can eventually develop what is called an ego. The reason our appearance closely resembles that of humans is related. It's to foster self-awareness similar to a human's. Have you not been told about personas? Personas? It's an ability expected of us that normal weapons don't have. The conditions to use one are theoretically already loaded in us. But a well-defined ego seems to be necessary to activate it. That's why I'm sure there are others with thoughts that do not pertain to missions. Then, maybe those I fought up till now. And how does that make you feel? The opponents you destroyed may have thought similar things to what you just did. It's okay. You don't need to come up with an answer right now. It actually may be better to forget it. After all, tomorrow we may find ourselves ordered to destroy each other. Ugh.
It's time. I hope we meet again. You seemed to deliberately avoid attacking the face or the neck in that battle. Why? 
हाँ I don't know. These past three days, it hasn't been destroying the other units beyond repair, like it did in the first battle. It must be learning to finesse its attacks rather than just using brute force. The result? Swift, overwhelming victories. Its evasive skills are improving as well. That level of flexibility and evasive action could never be replicated by chaining predefined maneuvers. This unit's collected a good amount of feedback data, too. It's growing steadily feeding on the bones of its kills. You don't have to say it like that. This one seems to have been raised as a pet somewhere far away from here. But one day, it was brought to the forest near here and its owner suddenly disappeared. Its name is apparently Snowy. At least, that's the name it responds to the most. I thought it was a dog. Oh, well, the name of this animal is a dog. But, how do I put this? Snowy is what this specific dog is called. Snowy. It's white, like snow. Easy to remember.
Oh, this is where you went. You weren't at the usual spot, so I was looking for you. What's wrong? The look on your face seemed as if you saw something frightening. My face? My expression? Frightening? Am I scared? Are you perhaps scared of fighting? Um, nah, I don't think that's it. What is this? I can't tell. Do you remember me asking before if you were scared of fighting? To tell the truth, I'm scared of it too. I'm afraid I'll lose and be destroyed, and it's painful for me to make others go through the same ordeal. We may be weapons, but shouldn't we be driven by more than seeking victory? I've been wondering that for a long time. But that's against orders. 
I'm sure things would probably be much simpler if I stopped thinking and just obeyed orders. Unfortunately, I finally found it. I found my answer. Your answer? There's someone I want to meet. I feel like meeting this person is my own objective and not an order given to me. Ever since I started thinking that I was scared to fight, each day was painful for me. If I'm going to feel this way until the day I lose, I even thought it would be better if I lost on purpose. But I won't think that anymore. I feel glad now that I exist. I mean, we're loved after all. Loved? That's right. Why are you telling me this? It's probably because I didn't think anyone but you would understand. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm not sure I really get it either. I'm sure you'll understand one day. I hope so anyway. Sheesh! Why you gotta be so cryptic?
What's the matter, number 031? Hurry up and terminate the target. That was pretty impressive. You think it's because of the size of her plume? <laughs> Funny that one little part could make such a difference. Indeed. Most of it is due to differences in their tactical mentalities. It may be on the cusp of what we would call an ego. Considering how everything's been going so far, I'm starting to believe more in Persona abilities. Well done, unit number 031. That was an impressive display of destruction. Plus, you cleanly severed its transmitter, leaving the plume of dusk unharmed. That's certainly ending things on a high note. All right, number 031, as of today, the test battles are finished. Huh? It's over? All the results indicate that you have the very highest performance out of all the units of your model. I'd say we can go ahead and earmark unit number 031 to be the base for developing the fifth generation. The base? <laughs> it means that you're the winner.
Okay, we're going to begin the usual review of the feedback, so come over here. Hey, can I talk to you for a while? The lab boys told me today that they were putting the kibosh on the test battles. I see. It's over then. Look, I've been thinking. If they end up tossing us out soon because of that, I want to go with you to go see that person you were talking about. The one you wanted to meet. I might even put in a formal request about it to the lab boys. If you are still safe when everything is over, open this file. What do you mean, when everything is over? How come I can't look at it now? If I had to answer, I would say because it wouldn't be fair. Fair? It would be wonderful if I could go with you to see her. Her? So this person you're looking forward to meeting is a girl? But it's strange. Even though my wish may not come true, I still feel satisfied for some reason. <laughs> How bizarre. It's a fervent wish of mine too. I believe in you. I can tell you this because I trust you. Maybe that's why I feel so at peace. Huh? Maybe. This is what it is to feel alive.
Sounds like it's decided. We'll discontinue use of the name Unit Number 031. Generation 5 Labrys will be this unit's new name. Labrys. That's your name. The official one's much longer. Generation 5 Anti-Shadow... Uh... Fifth Generation Anti-Shadow Suppression Weapon Labrys. How hard is that to remember? Labrys. From now on, the battles you fight will not be to test your performance. They'll be geared toward drawing out a persona. First, you will fight all the remaining units of your model type. Your objective is to destroy them, every last one. Huh? The fear impulse and self-preservation instinct seem to be the key to activating a persona. This is the most effective method of inducing extreme mental stress. Stress? Come on, you don't have to go this far. Huh? Well, that's a first. None of them have ever protested like that. Well, at least that's a sign that its ego is developing. You told me it was over. I thought I wouldn't have to do these things anymore. You. Ain't there some other way? If there is, please, let me do that instead. I... I don't want to fight him anymore. That's a surprise. Such natural speech patterns. I hadn't thought its personality would develop this fast. All the data is being recorded now. Let's compare them and look at which stages they improve at.
No! Why? Draw your weapon. I can't. If you don't fight, you'll lose. I will end up destroying you. Are you willing to accept that? Why? Why are you saying this stuff? If you fear being destroyed, if you have a heart capable of fear, then there's no need to hesitate. That alone gives you the right to attack me with all your strength. But doesn't the same go for you? You said there was someone you wanted to meet. I can't fight you knowing that! Come on! Stop this! I don't want to fight anymore! Only one of us can exit this chamber. Huh? They never told you since you were strong enough that battles never lasted very long. But that's the rule of this place. The only time the door leading beyond that transparent wall opens is when one of us is considered unable to fight. From the start, this whole setup never took our feelings into account. But talking like this is a waste of time. I can see I won't spur you into fighting with just words alone. I don't intend to meekly accept my destruction. I have my own goal, after all. <laughs> now, fight me.
Isn't this enough? She had that ego thing way before me. Destroying her won't do anyone any good. Come on, have a heart. It'll be coming at you with everything it has now. You better not hold back either. Number 024 had an excellent record against others of its model. Even you might have a hard time beating this one, Labrys. Hey, are you not gonna look at me anymore? You're not gonna smile again? I'm sorry to leave you alone. I leave the rest to you.
I know the world is a big place, and I know that there's a lot of people in it, but I won't be able to see it for myself or meet many of them. I know that too. I'm too weak for that. Thinking about it has made me sad more than once, but I didn't want to do nothing and be left with regrets. That was when my mom and dad looked into some options, and we decided to go with this experiment. If even a sick girl like me could make herself useful to others in this world, I thought I ought to go for it. At first, I kept wondering how much I could really contribute. But after hearing more and more about the program, I started to wonder about the others more than myself. is to make myself useful to this world. But the ones born from me... Is born the right word for it? <laughs> kind of embarrassing. My other wish is that the ones born from me are happy. I doubt I'll be able to talk to them in person or stay with them. But I still wish from the bottom of my heart that they all have happy lives. If you are reading this, then I have most likely been destroyed. It may be that you already understand the concept of guilt, but you have done nothing wrong. I happened to access certain data during the feedback treatment and learn something. Artificially creating a personality from scratch is very difficult, though they hope to achieve it in two generations. But those of our model were actually made from the template of a certain girl's personality. That includes you and I. She had left a recording for the units created using her personality a message for those of us who did not yet exist. That's what I heard. She speaks in a strange way, like you. I thought, huh, oh, we really are connected to her.
The one who gave birth to us loved us. When I understood that, I felt like my eyes were opened. Though my life was filled with suffering, my birth had meaning. I firmly believe that. I want to meet her. I need to tell her thank you for giving birth to us and for loving us. This was not an order from the scientists. It was an objective I made for myself. So if you can understand my feelings, I'd like you to do this in my stead. Give our mother my thanks. Though we knew each other for only a short time, I'm glad I met you. I feel the same right now as our mother did. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. Labrys, is she crying? So she is. I can't believe we're actually seeing a machine being driven to tears. But its mental graphs are clearly abnormal. What kind of information did it download? Who knows? That's one thing the graphs can't tell us. We should take care to limit our studies to just the battle data. <laughs> it doesn't need any sentimental memories. You can delete those. Why make a weapon so emotional that it can cry? Delete! Like hell you're deleting my memories! Its emotions are spiking into the red. I've never seen anything like this. Hey, what's that warning? No. Labrys is in battle mode? 
What? That can't be. There aren't any enemies. We're the only ones here. Are you saying those mental fluctuations were enough to override the OS's restrictions? <laughs> that plume's playing pranks on us. Hey, hurry up and delete those memories. What do you think we are? How's it doing that? There's no way those things are strong enough to break the restraints. It's outputting over 220% of its theoretical strength limit, even though its joint actuators are operating at only 70% capacity. That's not possible. That doesn't even make any sense. What's driving this thing? I'm not gonna let you take those memories. I made her a promise.
Iris, come back here. You're too useful a unit to destroy. You need to get back here to be regulated. That's your role in all this. Just because I don't want to be destroyed. I... I... A persona reaction? Shit, it's awakened? Ah, damn it, why now? Well, at least this proves that mental stress is the key to activating the persona. Who cares about that right now? It's not fully awakened yet, but with it still unstable, we don't know what it's capable of. Persona? It's done it! We need to hurry! If it's that strong already, we won't be able to stop it once its persona completely awakens! That's... persona...
Is that the ocean? I'll find her come hella high water. Are you with me, Snowy? So, this is the ocean. Ha! It's so huge. I can't see anything out there at all. That's a problem. What should I do? Come on, don't give me that look. Ah well. Maybe it's my fault for getting so frustrated. Sorry, Pooch. Snowy? Looks like they're coming.
Knowing why they're here doesn't make it any easier to deal with them. Look at that. It's beautiful. To all the ones I'll never meet, but will receive my memories. There's so much I want to say to you that I don't know where to start. I just pray from the bottom of my heart that everyone can find happiness. As long as that happens, I don't mind if I... Could this be it? Snowy, you think this is what it means to feel alive?
thanks. I'll be okay now. Things are about to get hairy, so you should hurry and get out of here. Oh, come on. If you don't go, it'll make things hard on me. Okay? Damn it! Look at this mess! Going after humans? Oh, I bet the girl they used as a template for this model was a snotty brat, too! Even if we delete its memories, it'll be too dangerous to keep using this unit! There are so many things about it I want to research, though. It's not worth the risks. The fifth generation anti shadow suppression weapon will be sealed indefinitely once it's fully restrained again. Hey, what happened? Forensics team! What the hell is... What are these? What's... What's going on? What the?
Is anyone here? Hey, let me out! I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that, take off, that right off, off right now. What? I'll be there, I'll to, be rescue there to rescue you shortly. shortly. Calm, Calm yourself, yourself and wait, and there. wait there. Who's there? Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. This is Mitsuru, Mitsuru Kirijo. Kirijo. We, met we met earlier. Oh, well, I appreciate the help. Just hurry! Kirijo, huh? Well, it does happen from time to time. Famous businessmen end up advocating cultish nonsense in pursuit of their ambitions.
What's with that car? Nah. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am Mitsuru Kirijo, representing the Kirijo Group. It's nice to meet you. She's the company rep? Really? Their proposal said the rep who's coming today would be the leader of this new unit, but... I thought it was supposed to be some hardcore armed response team, and she's leading it? Well, I guess it's better than some meathead. Shut up and hold your position. All right, start bringing them in. Roger, sir. sure it's okay for us to open these? The instructions said not to. It won't be a real investigation if we let them hamstring our procedures. Besides, I can't think of anything they could send us that we couldn't handle. Unless there's real monsters inside these things. <laughs> Huh. Are these rings? Hmm? Uh, we're not sure yet. Hmm.
Please step Please away step from away the door. From the door. Where'd this ice come from? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. We did give you fair warning, but it seems to have gone unheeded. Then this happened because we touched that box? What is this thing? That ring gives its bearer an unstable form of pseudo-potential and allows anyone to experience the Dark Hour. The Dark Hour? The box itself seems to be a failed recreation of the Dark Hour. The effect radius is small, and it malfunctions when improperly handled. So you're saying, those stories in that document, that occult-sounding stuff was actually for real? <laughs> Who's there? Chief! Hey, are you all right? What? He's my... This is a shadow. That it is. It's a monster that dwells in every person's heart. They usually can't manifest themselves this way, but it's quite common to see it happen during the dark hour. So the research to make this happen artificially, that's what Kirijo has been experimenting with. That did seem to be the extent of it, at the start.
Kikuno, my things, please. You're going to fight it? Stay back. This will all be over soon. Artemisia! Are you all right? Your fallen employee's life is in no danger, but he'll be very weak. Make sure he gets to a hospital. Should I make the arrangements? No, I should at least handle that. It is a public security matter. I'd be shocked too if I were them. Excuse me, but this place is off limits to all unauthorized personnel. Um, hey, what's going on here? It's all right, we had a little emergency. Uh, oh. That aside, halt all examination of the relics they brought in. We'll wait for further instructions from the Kirijo group. Huh? But you said... If there are any boxes that are closed, don't force them open. Not if you don't want to come face to face with monsters. I have to thank you for your help. And about the conference. I'll join in as well. It's been arranged so nothing you say would get through to the higher-ups.
Are you saying you will reconsider your plans? I can't overlook anything as serious as this. I wouldn't be doing my job as public security if I did. But make no mistake, the things I saw today are proof of the sins the Kirijo group has committed. They can't be punished under the law, but now that they're known, atonement will be made in some shape or form. Indeed. I never intended anything less. <laughs> you really put one over on us this time. Hmm? Oh, there's no need to be coy. What happened today was no accident, was it? We'd never have believed the reports unless we saw it in person. That's why such a dangerous box had no lid. Am I wrong? There was no lid? That's not possible. That box was classified as risk level 3. It should have been securely fastened. Ah, <sighs> Kikuno. Us guys in public security have a reputation for being tough. But it seems like you guys are no slouches yourselves. What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives, as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo.
looks like this may take some time. I'm sorry about the wait. Allow me to introduce myself. I see you're enough on the ball that you don't need a lengthy introduction. Good. Have you heard of the Kirijo group? I doubt there are many who haven't. I'll get right to the point. We'd like to hire you to perform a Sub Rosa investigation on them. You need a corporation quietly investigated. Why me? I don't see what I can do that your own department cannot. I would agree, if shadows and personas weren't involved. <gasps> One summer twelve years ago, there was an explosion at the Kirijo-owned Tatsumi Port Island, killing over fifty people. You would have been very young at the time. I've reviewed that case. The official explanation was that a gas main leaked during a construction project. Afterwards, though, a bizarre rumor saw quite a bit of circulation. The mass media noticed that there was a suspiciously large number of researchers amongst the casualties. They floated the theory that the official explanation was a lie, and that the explosion was really caused by some dubious experiment. No concrete evidence was ever found to support those claims, though. As I recall, the matter was left unsettled. Some may still remember the incident, though I don't think many could recall the finer points. Those rumors were all true. What? Those researchers under Koetsu Kirijo, the old Kirijo group manager, were working on harnessing the power of shadows. The experiment went awry, and they lost control of the shadows. That's what caused the explosion. Experiments using shadows? They lost control? Are you saying the shadows flooded the city? The real world? I can't speak to that. There was no way of getting hard answers back then. No one took the spooky story seriously. But that accident got the government and the police's attention. Though, they didn't launch an investigation until a year or two ago. Only those in the Kirijo group know exactly what happened, and how much of the aftermath was dealt with. The aftermath? Their cleanup efforts continued until quite recently. They were using some method known only to them, entirely behind our backs. We think they've been conducting illegal activities in the ten years since then, while hiding behind their cleanup efforts. And you wish for me to confirm this? Not only do you have a relationship with us, you have a persona, and extensive experience in the field. We can't think of a better candidate. And since I'm not directly affiliated with the police, if I were to be caught in a trap, it wouldn't lead back to you. If that's the way you want to put it.
Last year, in conjunction with the Kirijo Group, we established an unofficial department in the Force, nicknamed the Shadow Operatives. It's a special unit capable of dealing with shadow-related cases. This is news to my ears. That's a rather bold move. You went so far as to join forces with the ones you suspect of illicit activities? That's exactly why we did it. We must keep a leash on them by integrating them into the system. But the police are far behind information-wise. Officially, you are higher on the chain of command, but less so in practice. You'd need some leverage to keep your hold on them. Thus, this secret investigation. What exactly do you want me to do? That will depend on your answer. If you think we're hiring you to further our organization, you're mistaken. Our sources say it's possible that they've been talking students from the Kirijo-owned school into doing their dirty work. They've been pleading ignorance while making ordinary kids clean up whatever messes they've left. And that, we don't forgive. We're supposed to be upholding the law. We can't overlook things like this. Alright, in that case, I accept. Though I don't plan on abandoning my school life here, I'll do what I can to help, but only within those limits. That's fine with us. At the end of this month, the Kirijo group is airlifting some special cargo. Kirijo has asked our help in making sure the cargo is transported safely. We'd like you to accompany them as a police observer. What do they mean, transported safely? A police escort. Assurance of no public investigation if any unforeseen situation were to arise. Things like that. Of course, if anything does happen, we will hold them responsible. And what is this special cargo? It's something to do with the shadow research. They've admitted that much, but we don't know the exact details. According to our research, it's most likely something from the old ergonomics research laboratory, classified as risk level 4. In other words, even though it's sealed up tight, it's extremely dangerous. Also... This woman will be on that flight. Her name is Mitsuru Kirijo. Kirijo. She's the oldest daughter of the Kirijo family, Koetsu Kirijo's granddaughter. It was he who devised the experiments 12 years ago. 
you should know that she's also a powerful Persona user. We believe she took the lead in gathering students three years ago, when she was still in high school. We'd like you to first go to her residence and meet with her. All right. I'm sure you figured out by now, since she's a high-ranking Kirijo group official and a Persona user, but she's a shadow operative. She's member number one, the general manager. And not because she's a Kirijo, but because she has the abilities to back it up. Can you do this? She's dirty. Then this won't be easy for you. I already accepted your assignment, so I must simply make the best of it. Nice to meet you. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'll be acting as an observer today. I've been told about you. It's nice meeting you as well. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. I didn't expect the police's observer to be so young. Does that bother you? Oh, no. I didn't mean to downplay your abilities. Forgive me. Tell me, what are the contents of your cargo? I'm ashamed to have to admit this, but since the original researchers have passed away, we don't know what's in it either. We can't allow the worst case scenario for such an item to come to pass in the middle of a city. That's why we plan to transfer these items to a distant facility according to their indicated risk level. Then I'll stay near the cargo along with the police escort. I'll contact you immediately if anything happens. 
All right. If anything is unclear to you, feel free to ask me. Yakushima, huh? Squawk code has changed to 7500. 7500? Seventy five hundred? 7500? A hijacking? Is it the cargo they want?
If that was the case, the hijacking is only a decoy. But would they really risk their lives hijacking a plane over one piece of cargo? This is 002, over. A suspicious vehicle is leaving the scene. Stay in pursuit. It's a large vehicle, about two tons. License plate... Personnel on scene. The suspects have been apprehended. The hijacking is over. I repeat. They dealt with it so soon? What's going on here? Operator to 002, over. The hijacking has been dealt with, but the transfer must be cancelled. The whereabouts of one piece of cargo cannot be confirmed. All indications are that it has been stolen. Then that vehicle earlier. Are you still in pursuit? We're tracking it through the end system. Head to the guest room immediately so we can discuss our response. Understood. Are you awake? I'm sorry. I had turned off my consciousness to test the new equipment installed on me. Yes, that's why we use the emergency channel. We've been asked to go into action.
Has something happened? Who sent the request? We'll brief you on the details in transit. Also, regulations say that the member with the lowest serial number is in command. Currently, that's you. I'm in command? Are you sure about this? After all, I'm... You're well suited for it, in my opinion. Understood. Tell me about the situation and make it quick. We don't have much time. There hasn't been a plane hijacked in this country in over 10 years. None of us, not even me, have dealt with this before. Still, the procedure remains the same. Trust yourself, remember your training, and keep a cool head. Talk to us.
Sir, there's a report from HQ. They picked up a transmission from one of the passenger's cell phones. It's a smartphone with GPS, so they can tell it's inside the plane. Confirm those details for me. life is at stake if we don't wrap this up within the hour. Looks like we can't stall for time. Withdraw? This is a hijacking! What are you thinking withdrawing our people? Yes, I understand. Wait, what's going on? Orders are orders. We'll fall back at once. Get ready. The next half hour, we're in command of this scene. You didn't answer the question. Who's responsible for this? You're the one in charge? Yes. Are you shitting me? There is no time to waste quarreling. Lay low, lay high, lay low, lay high. Until you feel the clock, the 
across the sky. Feeling yeah. no pressure, but I'm peace in the media. Getting ginger ready, come find place I'm telling you. And you're where you be from New York to Siberia. Gotta be your own beat and shake it till we get. Are you not even gonna tell me who you're with? I cannot. So you expect me to hand over control of the scene to you without even telling me who the hell you are? I believe orders to withdraw have already been issued. Lady, I don't know what kind of juice you have with the brass, but are you ready to be responsible for the deaths of those passengers? Your protests are doing nothing to relieve the danger. Rescuing them as soon as possible is my, or rather, our duty. Have faith in us. We too wish to save them. Right. But you got exactly 30 minutes and not a second more. Understood. Well then, move in as naturally as possible while staying in their blind spots. Closest we can get without them noticing will be about 10 meters from the plane. That will be more than enough. Now, let's begin. What's she doing? Jumped? No 
What's she gonna do with that knife? That's just crazy. Take 
toss the sky. Feeling no pressure, but a piece in the media. Get the jiggy rip, come find place, I'm telling you. Anywhere you be, from New York to Savannah. You gotta be your own beat and shake it till we get. I'ma put it down, grabbing this crown. Make your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two. One more time, heavy punch line about to cruise. Do not be alarmed. I have come to rescue you. Your safety has not been secured yet, so please stay calm and remain in your seats. Excuse me. We were told someone requires medical assistance for their chronic heart illness. His name is... I am impressed with your judgment to stay hidden until an opportunity arose. She's done already? It hasn't even been five minutes. There should have been at least three hijackers. You know what they remind me of is those guys. Like men in black or something. Captain, who are those people? Is that one even human? This is just a rumor. But I've heard that the higher-ups formed an unofficial security group in conjunction with a certain corporation. It's supposedly for cases that are a little... strange. 
I hear they have some official standing with the police, too. Though it's all some private enterprise, so technically, there's no authority involved at all. What? But this is Japan we're talking about! A search and destroy unit that answers to no department and keeps no records. I've heard them called Shadow Operatives. Girl? Um, may I check on something? If you look towards my left, in front of the luggage loading bay is... She's not there. That can't be. What's the matter? Oh, I... I'm sorry. I was apparently seeing things. Are you all right, Mitsuru-san? I guess. I didn't think you'd be the one to come. In fact, I was surprised to be called on to deal with something like this. The suspects made no demands. What were they after? At first, I thought I was summoned because you were their target, Mitsuru-san. The higher-ups must have thought the same thing and panicked. Especially considering there's cargo on that plane they wouldn't want made public. Hmm, wait a second, that cargo... Is something wrong? This hijack seems strange now that I think about it. They made their move before takeoff, which is odd timing. And they forced the boarding announcement to be stopped. I thought maybe it was their way of trying to pull it off with a small team. Are you saying that rather than a passenger, they were after that cargo? Hmm. It's true that no one would consider the unloaded luggage during a hijacking. 
I guess I need you to check on my things. Though if I'm right, it's already too late. Even if you're right, why would they be interested in your belongings? My usual cargo wouldn't be worth hijacking a plane over. But I was carrying something... sensitive this time. Normally, if they wanted it, they'd have to bypass a Carrillo facility's security or attack the vehicle transporting it. But by doing it this way, they can divert the entire country's attention with a few model guns. Mitsuru-san's cargo. Sensitive belongings for a vacation. Ah, I understand. Hijacking a plane out of a desperate desire for undergarments. This incident will surely go down in history. What? You're jumping to conclusions. It's not sensitive in that way. Besides, my underwear is in this bag and... That's it. Enough about underwear. <clears throat> More accurately, my cargo contained items from Ergo Research. My trip to Kagoshima was partly vacation, but also to oversee their transferal to Yakushima. is speaking. I see. Understood. It's as you suspected. They found that one of the boxes scheduled for transport has gone missing. I thought as much. We must get it back, I guess. The rest of the team can finish up here. I need you to come with me. Will you be joining the search as well? Well, I am personally involved, so yes. In other words, you will officially rejoin the unit and participate in this mission. <sighs> to be more direct, is it accurate to say that you are abandoning your vacation? Then I hereby transfer command authority to you, Mitsuru-san. Regulations state that the member with the lowest serial number is to take command. And since you are member number one, the official leader of the Security Department Shadow Response Unit, also called the Shadow Operatives. I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to enjoy this vacation for long. But I can't allow anyone to be hurt again by the things we, the Kirijo group, created. We'll get this cargo back at all costs. Mission or no mission, I'm making it a personal priority. Understood.
That was a very tidy operation. I had thought it would take at least half a day. To put it delicately, we had someone with special abilities handling this. Then again, though we prevented any harm from coming to the hostages, we lost the cargo. Nothing for it, I suppose. Who would have expected an entire hijacking to cover up the theft of some cargo? I must apologize to you as well. I was the closest at hand when it happened. No, you did more than enough. It's thanks to your sharp eyes that we're able to track the suspicious vehicle now. I'm impressed that you realized in all the chaos that the cargo was the true target. You even spotted their getaway truck. Thank you. Our next step should be to interrogate the suspects in custody and... Sadly, it won't be that simple. I haven't heard much yet, but it seems they're having unexpected difficulties with the interrogation. It will take some time. Hmm. If they were prepared to risk their lives for this operation, I suppose they won't break so easily. We made an error in judgment. We were too focused on preventing the item itself from doing any damage. But since they targeted something so unusual, that should narrow down the suspect pool. I can't deny it's possible that someone connected to the Kirijo group is behind this. Thank you for your assistance, Shiragane. I'm sorry to have involved you in this mess, but the professionals will take it from here. Does that mean my work here is done? I'm afraid so. We do value your cooperation. I'm a long way from home. Yo, bro, haven't seen your mug around here. The lucky thing we noticed you. Come on, man, spare us some change. We just need a little, man. We'll double it in no time in that gambling den over there. You're in my way. Move it. <laughs> and we were being friendly. I should have pulled this on you at the start. A body like that, and you gotta resort to a gun? Pathetic. Huh? To begin with, do I really look like I carry that much money on me? Ain't you Japanese? Most Asians stupid enough to come waltz around here are loaded. Come on, give me everything you got, or it's gonna be your brains on the floor. Son of a bitch! 
gonna hit him! Cut off of your own feet and shake it every day. I'ma put it down, grab it this ground. Lay your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two. One more time, hit your punch line about to bruise. The sky. Feeling no pressure, but a piece in the media. Get the ginger bit, come from this and tell you. Checkmate. Oh, you're to submit here. Cut a big way to shake it every day. I'm gonna put it down. Grab it this ground. Make your dollars on the ground. Gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two. One more time. Heavy punch line about to bruise. You should be more careful who you pick your fights with. You bastard! Hmm. At least you know the basics. I gotta hand it to you for not abandoning your pal. Damn, that was impressive stuff. What a fight! And against a man with a gun? Are you a ninja or something? Nah, that's not important. Where are the police? I'd have thought all the gunfire would catch their attention. <laughs> Things like that happen all the time. The only authority here is the cartel. Everyone who's not connected dies in poverty. That's been how it works for over 50 years. I see. Hey, why not stop in for a drink? It's on the house. Seeing what you did made my day. Are you sure? The cartel you mentioned might not like that. Hey, I'll get off easy compared to you. All I did was offer you a drink, not beat the hell out of their goons. Do you have the good stuff in stock? Huh? It's hard to obtain that certain something around here. I haven't had any for a couple days now. Actually, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. B what is it you're talking about, mister? Listen, I run a clean bar. Protein. 
I need a double shot of protein. Huh? Pro? Make it quick. It's only half as effective 30 minutes after I've burned some calories. Sorry, I don't know that brand. Is that some kind of sake? No. It's alright if you don't have any. <laughs> Looks like opportunity's knocking sooner than I expected. Fine with me. I haven't found any opponents worth my time here anyway. Can't wait to see what kind of challenge there is in store for me now. Things have taken an unexpected turn. This case is under the jurisdiction of the Shadow Operatives now. That will make it very difficult to continue my secret investigation. But right now you're the only one we have who's gotten that close. We heard you earned Kirijo's trust after the hijacking. We'd like you to keep up your investigation. We're currently making arrangements for you to pick it up again in a natural way. What are you gonna have me do? I will not act as a spy. I'll be in touch later. This place... It's that ocean. Thank you. 
She said during this morning's checkup that she wanted to go to school. She asked how much better she needs to get to be able to go. Understandable. This ward is right near the road most of the students take. She must be lonely too, not having seen her parents lately. How much better she needs to get. She still doesn't know that her condition is incurable. Why don't you be honest with her and tell her she won't ever be able to go? It's cruel to string her along like this. Shh, keep your voice down. The room's next door. I wonder if the nurses thought things like the student council were too much trouble to bother with when they were in school. I don't know. It sounds fun to me. You gotta admire the student council president. I mean, they're the ones that get things done for everyone. I guess it's because they're like that in the first place that they get to be president, huh? High school. I wonder what that's like. Would it be fun? Figures. I don't know anything about schools or whatever else student life is like. I can show you if you so desire. Huh? Who's there? There's no need to be alarmed. I only want to give you a glimpse of the world you long to know. What? Is this a school? A real classroom? So this is where classes happen. But what do the students do when there aren't any classes? Do they just talk and stuff?
you'll never find a place where you belong. Humans created you as a tool. They would never think of you as anything more. I... Everyone, to a man, lives by averting their eyes from something inside them. They all wish to live inside a never-ending dream. For who has the right to say they shouldn't? There are even humans who do not understand others' feelings. Still others do understand, and trample upon them regardless. Compared to them, you are much more human. Why not then seek to be human? Me? Be a human? People sort through their memories in dreams. Each night they let go of painful memories and continue their lives with the morning sun. That's all you need do. Forget anything contrary to your desires. If... If I forget... Do not fear the act of letting go. The ones you admire wished only for you to be happy. And I too, all I wish from the depths of my heart is for you to find joy. Happiness. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. Forget and be happy. Everything is now in readiness.
My, it's rather stout compared to before. There. Do you see me now? Have I forgotten to introduce myself? My name is Elizabeth. Oh, do you wish to behold death that much? Dear, it seems it won't be easy for one of this size. I cannot damage the world of everyone's hearts, and I hesitate to make a scene in the real world either. Time for a change of scenery. We will soon reach our destination. Now, I had promised to show you death. Your fate is in the cards. The god of death, Thanatos. What do you think? Was it to your liking? Well then. Farewell. Velvet.
My master has a large nose. Thinking back on it, I spent so many days like that for such a long time. I had thought that it would be impossible to change. It'll surely resurrect within the year again. And I'll go through today once more. Now, that's why I have come here. A double check on the danger scale situation that I just recently discovered. I sense multiple Persona users gathering. It's once in a blue moon that one discovers a place like this. I'm sure I can learn some interesting things here. Or something along those lines. In any case, I, Elizabeth, can scarcely keep myself from getting involved.
Hmm, this building. Is it a school? It seems somewhat old-fashioned compared to the school I have experience with. But it has its charms as well. This is what they call animalist aesthetic. Animalist? Bestial? Anyway, something along those lines. everyone. down on him more from now on. Hey there, Miss President. Are you off to the student council room? Have fun! You're always so excited about that. Bye, Miss President. See you next Monday. I did the right thing. I did. <laughs> Guess that's enough for today.
in the world is that? Hey, excuse me. You got some reason to be at our school? Are you sure this is how things should be? Huh? I am a wanderer who only stopped here because I sensed great power gathering. I am in no position to give advice, but... Um... This place will soon be caught in a bit of a fracas. If you continue to avert your eyes from everything, I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. What? My life? What you choose is up to you, but I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I was waiting here to give you one last chance. this I will be your opponent for a short while. During that time, why not think back about who you are? Uh, huh? My opponent? And away we go.
Well done. But I'm sure you realize now, you are not human. There must have been an important promise that could only be kept in that guise. That must have been your reason for living. Whether it's worth losing that or not, I ask that you give it serious thought. An important promise? My reason for living? Now, it seems the tumult of trials is about to begin. In which case, I bid you good luck. What an intriguing event, more so than I had first imagined. Nothing seems different about me. What the heck was that? A dream? She said, I'm forgetting something that I need to remember. I mean, we're loved after all. Just leave this be. I'm the dang student council president.
and the interrogation of the suspects? It's begun, but all of them are claiming that their memories at the time are very foggy, so they've been sent in for evaluation. The psychologists who interviewed them think it's possible they're not lying. So none of the five have any memories of what happened during the hijacking? Normally that would seem preposterous. There may have been some hypnotic effect, but even then... We're dealing with someone after materials from Ergo Research. They'll likely be very well informed about shadows and the mind. Knowing that, it doesn't seem so strange. It would also explain the extreme lengths they went to to create a decoy. What else do we know? Since the cage storing the fifth generation is too large to transport by personal auto, we narrowed our search to large vehicles that left the airport. That, combined with the testimony from our observer and data from the transmitter, allowed us to pinpoint the vehicle in question. The police are already pursuing it via the N system. This is the most recent photo. The Inaba area. Wasn't this the place where... Yes, our routine investigation last year rated the potential shadow activity in the area at level 4. Let's talk about the stolen fifth generation unit. I guess, as the seventh generation would be her younger sister. A sister? My older sister? I'd like to know why she was sealed. Fifth generation anti shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. The records show her to be the first model fitted with an artificial personality. In other words, she has a heart? There's no knowing if it was developed enough to call it that. She seems to have been made to gather test data, rather than actual field use. What are her combat capabilities? She wasn't given firearms, since her regulatory system was inadequate. So she was instead loaded with some kind of special equipment. Unfortunately, the majority of the records pertaining to her are missing. Which means that's the extent of our knowledge. Special equipment? We also don't know why she was sealed. Many of the documents regarding the old Ergo research were lost, probably to cover up incriminating evidence. We don't even know what she looks like. All we do know is that she was a life-sized android. We'll just have to find out along the way. I'll need these three individuals' cooperations. I'd like to join them in the field. Are you sure about this? Try not to make a scene when fetching them. Not all of them are part of our organization. And I guess... Frankly, I think we can assume that there'll be combat involved. Will you be alright with that? I thank you for your concern, but I'll be fine. I will do my duty. Well then, once we can confirm our target is headed to Inaba, we'll depart at once. How did this happen? at your nest before it opened, and then...
that smell. It feels like someone's gone into my world. Slipping out before we open so he can slack off. I won't let him get away with it. that I remember it felt a little different than normal when I fell in I'm so hungry that everything's spinning. This must be what it's like to see your life flash before you at the end. <laughs> Jay-chan! Yuki-chan! Ha, <laughs> there he is. You look like you were working hard, Teddy. <laughs> Here, Teddy, you can sit with me. Don't mind if I do. I'm so tired. They're working me like a slave. Hey, Yuki-chan and Chie-chan. What are you blabbering about? That was totally in your job description. Here. How'd you chug that? Wasn't it carbonated? I'm surprised you could drink it so fast. You must have been so thirsty. There, there. I guess it was a bit busier than usual. Sorry for making you girls wait. It's alright. It's not like we had anything to do either. Anyway, what's this important announcement you have? Well, about that. Okay. Huh? Hey, where's Kanji? Sorry, I just noticed he was gone. I had some business to take care of at the inn, so I stopped by Tatsumiya before I came here, but Kanchikun wasn't there. We can just fill him in later. Come on, I'm dying to know what this is about! Out with it already! You have a point there. So what I was going to tell you was... What? 
are you for real? S-senseis! Coming back? on your faces. I kept it a secret all this time just to surprise you guys. Golden Week is coming up, so he's planning on spending the second half of break over here. Wow! Cool! You were so serious that I was getting worried it would be something bad. Actually, why'd you keep it a secret up to the last minute? <laughs> you don't have to hit me so hard. Isn't it more exciting to play up the suspense a little? Senpai's coming back? Yeah! When did you get here? You tell me sooner! Damn it, I gotta get to work! into him who cares at least he knows now but hey what about Risei Chan and Naoto kun do they know about Yukin coming back yeah I already called up Risei I thought she'd have a hard time adjusting her work schedule Sounded like she's busy preparing for her comeback, but she said she'll definitely make it. Oh, she is a lot busier now compared to when she was taking her hiatus. I can't wait for her to make a complete comeback! I'm gonna watch every program she's in! I hereby claim control over the remotes to all the TVs in Juness! Yosuke's room too! Maybe you should wait to do that until you've actually learned the channel names. So what about Natokun? I don't know. I couldn't reach her on her cell. Though she did say that she was handling more cases ever since spring, so I bet she's busy. Back memories of the investigation team. Yeah, it's kind of strange to feel nostalgic about that. <laughs> we were pretty desperate while the case was going on. It's only now that I'm finally feeling like it's all over. Still, it's just been two months, and it already feels like it was a long time ago. Our bro is coming back. Let's put together a plan for Golden Week. 
I want to do it right, you know? Give him a great welcome and stuff. Ooh, great idea! I agree. I can't wait to hang out with Sensei again! Sensei, I wanted to see you one last time. <laughs> for. My stomach and back are going to stick together. Actually, I think they already are. I'm paper thin. Huh? Whoa! Hooray for Teddy Power! Lady Luck loves me! But if she loves me, I wish she hadn't stuck me in a cleaning supply closet. There's a locker. And this must be a school! What? But why? I thought I entered a TV. This isn't where I usually start out. That's strange. Oh well, I should just hurry on ahead. Are you free to help out with the store for a bit? Not now, Mom! I don't have time today! I'm busy! Uh, Kanji? Oh, that boy is always such a handful. Good stuff. This is my second present for you, Senpai. I can't give him something half assed. The plan for it all laid out perfect. Just gotta knit till my hands fall off.
almost been a year since I met Senpai and the guys. Man, it was so crazy. The Midnight Channel doesn't come on anymore. I don't watch much TV in the first place. Okay, time to change yarn. Which color should I use next? Oh yeah, I had some frilly material left too. Oh, if I can work that in, the best color to go with it is... Wait, uh, this is for Senpai. I don't need any frills or lace for him. It's all about the shape. <laughs> he won't know what hit him when he sees how cute this is. Ooh, it'll be like a punch to the gut. Everyone looked at me and called me a punk. So much trouble. <laughs> she ain't got nothing to do with all that. Of course I do. You're my son. When will you ever come to see that? What the? Sh shut up, you old hag! Quit sneaking up on me to listen! Kanji Tatsumi, watch your mouth. And I did call to you. You just didn't hear me. How much of that did you hear? Damn it. Make sure not to work yourself too hard, all right, dear? Don't you have an important date with your friends tomorrow? I know, Mom! And hey, I don't want to see you moving those shells by yourself. That's how you threw your back out last time. 
I'll remember, dear. Thank you. get this done even if I have to pull an all-nighter all right I can do this damn it so tired almost done too what the hell Going every day lately. I'm surprised you're sticking to it. <laughs> the body is the temple, you know. I gotta start training now. Now? Oh no, it, it's nothing. <laughs> well, don't forget to train your brain, too. Ugh. Yes, mother. Hey there, Chie chan Did something good happen? Oh, can you tell? Is it what I think it is? You finally caught yourself a boyfriend? <laughs> Jeez, you always have to bring that up. <laughs> Be careful on your jog.
Did you see the Midnight Channel the other night? Whoa, whoa, wait a sec! Hey, hey! Did you just say Midnight Channel? <gasps> um, excuse me? Know her? No, I don't know anything. <laughs> Sorry to barge in, but well, I'm kind of interested in the Midnight Channel. I overheard you talking about it, so you mind telling me what you were saying? Um, what was it you told me? I heard that this time it's like a fighting show and that the people on it were fighting each other. Uh, I didn't know who was on it. I couldn't tell anything at all. Huh? But you just said. Well, please excuse us. Come on, let's go. like me or something? But I've never even met her. I didn't do anything wrong, did I? better at getting information, or I'll be one lousy police officer. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Is 
This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Right. I was on my way back. what everyone's been up to. I still haven't picked up Yosuke's gift. Hello! Is this Sensei? Yeah, what's up? What's up? I'm really sorry to bring this up, but I forgot to tell you something very important. I have a special request for the souvenirs I'm sure you'll be bringing your bear's friend. something for Yosuke too? I was planning on bringing something for everyone anyway, but go ahead. Cool! Well, Yosuke's been down in the dumps after his mommy burned his favorite nurse. She was what I called scorching hot! <laughs> Just kidding. A, a nurse? Ah, oh, come on, Sensei. You know what I'm talking about. His nurse magazine with the chest examinations and the bear behind. I see. Uh, and you expect me to buy him a replacement? Of course, silly. People coming to visit are supposed to bring presents. Mm hmm. 
All right. Oh, I was planning to head back tomorrow, but since we're meeting up early, I decided to go back today. Can you pass that on to everyone? Aha! Then the sexy nurses will be arriving even sooner! It'll be like, like, Sensei, we have an emergency patient. Yusuke will be so happy! Okay then, we'll be waiting for you! Nurses, huh? Yaso Inaba. This will be the last stop. Yaso Inaba. Oh. What should I do? Nanako? Big bro! You came to meet me all on your own? Instead. 
Welcome back, Big Bro. I wanted to see you so much. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to see you again, too. Well, no sense standing around here. What's in the fridge at home? Huh, <laughs> lots. Dad and I bought a ton of stuff since you were coming to visit. Are you gonna cook dinner? Oh, I want to help. Good evening. This is the Evening Journal with news for May 2nd. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday. Give me some slack, senpai. Huh? <clears throat> Did I fall asleep? Thank you. Must have been mom. Damn it, I don't have time to waste sleeping. Oh. I guess I should thank her. I ended up not helping out at the shop, too.
Junji, if you're going to sleep, you should sleep in your room. You'll catch a cold. Hmm? Where did that boy go? Yes, Shirogane speaking. Hi, Nato-kun. Oh, I'm not interrupting your work, am I? No, it's quite all right. I'm sorry to call so late. I wanted to at least give it one more shot about tomorrow. I'm sorry, but it seems I still won't be able to make it. I'm actually not in Inaba at the moment, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. Oh, then I guess you can't check even if it rains. Even if it rains? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. It's okay now, Takun. I know there are people who'll be in trouble without you. You need to stay there and help them out. Yes, well... It really is a shame. Give my regards to Senpai and the others, won't you? Will do! Good luck with the job! If any train would make it in time. It seems we may be back on for the secret investigation. Mitsuru Kirijo just requested our cooperation. We agreed. A detective by the name of Kurosawa will be heading out tomorrow. We want you to accompany him to the rendezvous point. Kurosawa is willing to leak you whatever info he learns about the Kirijo group through his cooperation with them. I'm surprised he agreed to that. Hasn't he assisted Kirijo-san and her group in the past? I'm afraid that's something you'll have to ask him about, although he seems to have his own agenda.
Midnight Channel. I wonder if it'll start raining before midnight. Why is it back on the air? This is iNews bringing you the headlines for May 2nd. We begin with the hijacking of a domestic flight yesterday morning. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Oh, I know. Maybe Yosuke's heard a couple of rumors about this. Yochie, what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? How stupid do you think I am? Anyway, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you?
N no, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, <laughs> then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hmm, I should call Yukiko too. Oh wait, she might be too busy to pick up. Maybe I really am that stupid. <laughs> Jeez. Interrupting your work, am I? No, it's quite all right. It really is a shame. Give my regards to Senpai and the others, won't you? Good luck with the job! Oh, I'm so tired. What a busy day. Golden week, huh? The holidays fell on pretty good dates this year. Juness will be open for business during Golden Week 2. Come for our exciting Golden Week events. Stay for the low, low prices. Uh, then again, it's my fault for taking this shift.
Well, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, that's right, I'm free. Partner's gonna be back. Time to go home and get ready for tomorrow. Let's go, Teddy. Is this him? Oh, it's Chie. Yo, Chie, what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? I didn't delete it! Anyway, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel?
There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? No, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. channel, huh? If it's true, that guy is a disaster magnet. Oh yeah, I should call Kanji too, just in case. Huh, it's not picking up. Guess I'll try his home phone too. Hello, this is the Tatsumi residence. Oh, I'm sorry to call at such a late hour. Uh, this is Yosuke. Um, is Kanji-kun there? Oh, hello Yosuke-kun. As for Kanji... Huh? Did, did something happen? I can't find him. You can't? I thought he was sleeping in the living room, but he wasn't there when I checked in on him. I thought he might be with you. Oh, yes, we're gonna have an all-night study group, and I bet I just missed him. I'll wait up for him here. <laughs> okay then, good night.
Ugh, why am I freaking out so much? This is Kanji we're talking about. So what if I can't get a hold of him? I'm sure he's fine. Damn it, I just want to fall asleep. This is iNews, and here are our top stories. We begin with a hijacking of a domestic flight to Kagoshima yesterday morning. Police began their interrogation of the suspects today. Man, things are crazy all over the country today. Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet Chie was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> saying that Risei-chan disappeared. Oh, I mean, not literally, but it seems they can't get in contact with her. Really? She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. 
And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. Well, let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? Hmm. You're right. Thank you, Yosuke-kun. This is way too much to be a coincidence. He's not even here yet. I'll only make him worry. If anything, I should call him after I know something. No, can't happen. It's over. It's almost midnight. Oh, here. Yuki-chan, are you okay? Do you need any help? Huh? <laughs> no, it's okay. I want to do this by myself. Are you sure? If you need a hand, don't hesitate to ask. Good evening. This is the Evening Journal with news for May 2nd. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday. Oh my, look at the time. Yuki-chan, don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> right, I was grilling the fish. Everyone likes this. of the food is important, but I think taste should be a cook's priority. The boys will eat a lot. I'm sure Chi I will too. I definitely shouldn't skimp. Mm-hmm. There, all done. I wonder if she forgot where we're meeting up tomorrow. channel is on the air again.
Oh, there you are. Someone's on the phone for you, Yuki-chan. Kujikawa-san's manager, and he wanted to ask you something. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to call so late. My name is Inoue. I am Risei Kujikawa's manager. Yes, that's what I was told. Uh, how can I help you? Well, you see, uh, I, I can't reach Kujikawa. I was hoping you might know where she is. Huh? Don't tell me. No, I can't go running to him with everything. There's no proof that it's happening again anyway. I shouldn't make him worry. Chan's number is
Maybe I should call Yosuke Kun. Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet she was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> about Risei-chan disappearing. Well, not literally disappearing, but... Anyway, it seems her people can't get in touch with her. Really? She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. not get carried away. First we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? Still time. It's all right. I'm sure things will be fine. Nothing will happen.
Yes, rain! Keep it up, clouds. This kind of brings back memories. Just five more minutes to go. This makes no sense. There ought to be someone else here. What's going on? I'm coming in! Huh? Wait, is that a TV? Why is it here? Now. Wait, huh? Can we outside? By the school? It's bright out. Is it morning already? Oh. 
Crap, there's no one walking around. Does that mean I'm late? Um, uh, get back from school? So, I'm outside, got my uniform on, and the sun's out. So I must have been on my way there. What's this all about? A new school event or something? And again, school events always suck. Do something new. I wish it'd be like a competition to see who's the strongest man in the school. That brings back some memories. Nothing will show anymore, though. Just in case. They are 
friends, yet powerful foes. The desperate fighting program among high school students. A new legend is about to start. Be the manliest of all men. Come on down. Nobody touches his precious Nanako, the sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami. It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night, Captain Resultamo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has got to go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs, the carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince, the unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muscles, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance, the body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! What? What? what on earth was that? that? What? Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? Let's see, H. Hanamura Yosuke. Hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? It's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? Did Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rosantamo? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? 
Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. Alright, we should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. N nurses Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Wait, this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. Ah, 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 shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk! But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Why'd they call me Captain Ressentiment? Too much? This is way too much. Was that Teddy in that weird costume?
Hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? It's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Huh? Did Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well... I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rasantama? Why'd you zero in on that part? You see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. We should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. Nurses? Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait, <laughs> this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. No, 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 shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood crap? Ow! You almost blew out my eardrum! I haven't discarded it! I haven't! You hear me?
Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood crap? You almost blew out my eardrum! I haven't discarded it! I haven't, you hear me? I eat vegetables too, you know, and I haven't discarded my womanhood! All right, all right, just calm down. What was that about? Is that what everyone's been seeing? No wonder that girl got so spooked this afternoon! There, there, that's a good girl. Calm down. Hey, don't treat me like a rabid animal! Well, just think about how I feel. That Captain Ressentiment part isn't too cool. Ugh, let's ignore that for now. Look, there's something that bothered me about what we just saw. Teddy was in that video, and he looked like he's hosting the whole thing. Huh, really? Plus, he hasn't come home yet. He's not picking up his cell either. What? Can you call Yukiko? I'll try and contact the others. I'm gonna hang up now, but I'll call back in about 30 minutes, okay? Got it. Huh? Risa chan has gone missing? Yeah, her manager called the Amagi in to ask if I knew anything. Could it be related to the Midnight Channel? I don't know about that, but... Looks like Kanji's missing, too. His mom told me that he was sleeping in the living room, but then he disappeared. Then Teddy, Rize-chan, and Kanji-kun... Yeah, this might be serious. I'll see you at the food court tomorrow. Please be okay. <laughs> P1 Grand Prix? What the heck? Sensei! Yosuke? Chie chan Even Yuki-chan! And who was that bear in the funny clothes? Exactly like me. In my shadow? Did it spill out again just like last year? Like I'll have to punish this barefaced liar and win the P1 Grand Prix. No one 
can't stop me! Sometimes I'm a beautiful girl, and others I'm a miraculously handsome boy. I am the alluring, fluffy prince, Teddy! Time to jump in on this P1 Grand Prix! Some kind of meatloaf or something? Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the wait. It's time to get our show started. Huh? Is that recent? There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. I, Rosette, will be your commentator. But first, the general has a few words for you all. The mic's all yours. <laughs> You're all here now. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Featuring the manliest of all men! P1 Grand Prix? Get it now. This is just a dream. Yeah, that explains everything from waking up outside the school to it being morning already. That's why my wish suddenly came true, too. Oh, man. I am on fire today! Grand Prix to decide the strongest fighter, huh? It's <laughs> not a bad dream at all. It's gonna be fun! Oh, well, I've never had a dream where I knew I was dreaming before. It's pretty damn realistic. The costume Ted's wearing ain't bad either. He's got kind of a different look going on. Eh, but of course it's impressive. This is my dream after all. He was lame though. It's too much like what they showed on the Midnight Channel last year. And this is only a dream. Finished for sure if that actually got shown to me. Good morning. 
It's May 3rd, Constitution Memorial Day. Our top story today is an update on the hijacking two days ago. Five men attempted a daring hijacking of a domestic airline, the first such incident in Japan in the 21st century. Police began their official interrogation of the arrested suspects this morning. But all depositions have been vague so far, with suspects complaining of muddled memories. Psychiatric exams are being considered. That must be the incident she mentioned in her email. It's me. It's been a long time, Alkahiko. I'm sorry to call you back on such short notice. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I was at a good stopping point. So, who's our next enemy? Don't be so impatient. You received the brief I sent you, right? What I didn't say directly in it is that the stolen cargo was from Ergo Research. I figured it would be Kiri Joe Group related, with you having to call me back. What was inside this cargo? The fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean... Yes, she's one of Igus' sister units. She was sealed at the time of the robbery, but we think it's very likely that she's been activated by now. Which means there's a good chance there'll be a fight. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this would be too much for the normal authorities. Sounds like it'll be right up my alley.
fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area, where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. Okay, I'll meet up with you at the actual location. Are you heading directly there? You never change. Let me know if you need anything and I'll make the arrangements. Protein, that's all. W what? No, it's better I don't ask. I'll send you the precise location later. Sorry to call when you've just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. You went to a lot of trouble to create the Shadow Operatives. I won't do anything to tarnish the name. I'll see you there. Fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area, where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. I'll send you the precise location later. Sorry to call when you've just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. He's only just returned and he's going directly to the location from the airport. Akihiko never changes. Will we be able to find Labrys? My sister? Hmm? Will we be able to save her? Isn't that what you really want to ask? 
Don't worry, as I mentioned to Akihiko, fighting Labrys is not our priority. The reason I formed this Shadow Operative team is to save lives. We will find her, whatever it takes, and bring her back. We can do this. Yes. I'm sorry to be so pessimistic. Those feelings you have for Labrys, you should tell her when you see her. I will. Why is this happening?
Yukiko, you're early! Good morning, Chie. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Whoa, a boxed lunch? You made it? Don't worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year. I think. Well, you've got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Ooh, that does smell really good! Oh man, I can't wait to try it! Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotoku, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Um, one thing's been bothering me. 
The picture on the TV was very clear last night. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared! I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. I feel like things are picking up around town. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. are going hey, away again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's go yeah, yeah. yeah.
I'm Kurosawa. I'm Naoto Shiragane. Thank you for your assistance. I've heard rumors about you, Ace Detective. Let's get going. You seem pretty listless. Oh no, I'm fine. Where are we headed, by the way? The place where they found the getaway car from the hijacking. A town called Inaba. It's a small place with an odd history. They just had a bizarre serial murder case there last year. Inaba? That's your hometown, right? Isn't that why they're sending you? The request I got from the Shadow Operatives was to assist in gathering information about those murders. They want me to meet with a supervising detective of that case and ask him for the full story. <laughs> Not only are they part of public safety, they're an unofficial unit. They can't come to the district police for information. Why him? Is his case related to the robbery in some way? Public safety is sharper than you might think. They do basic reviews on all cases to see if shadows were involved. Inaba is on their watch list now. And with that cargo being brought there, they naturally suspect a connection between the cases. Hmm. I should hurry home and get to work. What the? One Grand Prix? Do you think it's funny causing a commotion like this at school? I better see everyone involved in this heading home right now. Get this huge set. 
some people are always up to shenanigans. Hello. Oh, it's you, that Grand Prix contestant, Yosuke Kun. I mean, Captain Ressentiment. Oh, right. part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on. Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council president is. Student council president? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system? How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning! Stop this at once! Oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss! She's trying to stop our fun! Everyone, get her out of here! Huh? Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Reset, do something about this! Amazing. So much for that. Then how about this? You're joking, right? Huh? Am I dead? What was that you did?
should have just died. What? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. You say? the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there! I'm coming for you! Uh, hey, what are you going to do? Wait up! It's too dangerous to go alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. It's not a dream this time? What's going on? Didn't my contract end already? This room is tied to your fate. Nothing that occurs here is meaningless. Though you reached an end to one journey, you now find yourself here again. This shows that you will once again be faced with a question. A question? And something really is going on? From here on, what befalls you will upset your status quo. It is true that you've opened the door once already, but all things change. Nothing ever remains the same. What you gained before will change over time as well. You will have to face them once again. Face them? Again? Show me how you will proceed down the path that awaits beyond the door you've opened. Where am I?
This is... No, wait. This has to be the TV world. This has never happened before. Hello! Sorry for the wait! Greetings, boys and girls of Yasagami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin! There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. What the? going on here? We came to look for you and Risei and... Ah, always with the talking, Sensei. It's a big waste of time. Less talk and more fighting with the next challenger. Come on down! They're expecting you and me to fight. <laughs> Looks like. Sheesh, what's Teddy thinking? <laughs> Starting that up already? I won't let you get all buddy-buddy with each other. These battles are fought to the death. Only the victor can proceed. This joke's gone on far enough, Teddy. We're not going to play along with that.
Oh, really? I guess he should declare me the winner then. Yosuke? What? You don't plan on fighting, right? That means I win by default. Is that okay with you? I mean, since Nanako-chan's here and all? Nanako's here? Wait, really? You haven't seen her? She's with Teddy. Where is she? Yosuke, where's Nanako? Whoa, what's gotten into you, partner? No need to get hysterical. Why are you so calm about this? You know what happened to her last time she came here. Yosuke, be straight with me. Are you sure Nanako is with Teddy? Uh, how should I know? If I had to guess, I'd say she's probably still with him. Man, are you alright? Are you that worried about Nanako-chan? It's no wonder people look at you funny, thinking you have a sister complex. <laughs> Yosuke, are you alright? Huh? What are you talking about? I should be the one saying that to you. She's not even your real sister. All that big bro stuff really creeps me out. Hmm, it was a while ago that I saw her. It's probably too late to save her now. You know how things went last year, after all. Yosuke. Draw your weapon. You'll get your fight. What? Dude, what are you saying? You told me you let me win by default. I don't know if you're being controlled or if there's something else going on here. Either way, you must understand the best way to resolve the situation.
sorry, but I'm gonna go all out. No hard feelings. Huh? All that talk and you're gonna fight against your partner after all? Well, whatever. Let's hurry up and get this started. Ready? Continue with this? Teddy, about Nanako. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise. If you want to find out, you'll have to get to me. And I can't say why, but I think you should hurry. Yosuke, are you alright? Ow! Couldn't you hold back a little? I seriously thought you were gonna kill me! The same went for you. I wouldn't have stood a chance if I held back on you. That aside, shut up about the nurses already! It's not like that's the only thing I ever think about! What's this about nurses? Huh? You were harping on it the whole time! How can you stand there and constantly bash my taste in women with a straight face? Is it such a crime to like nurses? Wait a second. Yosuke, let me ask you something. Is it true that Nanako is here in this world? She is?
guess there's no choice but to keep going. Taking off? Yeah. Well, be careful. Oh, uh, one last thing. About those nurses. Ah, quit it already! Are you out of your mind again? <laughs> ah. What is this? Huh, so there's an invisible wall. Looks like the loser can't leave the room. I see how it works now. Thanks. Use me as your guinea pig. Wait, that's it? Hey, don't wear yourself out, all right? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Things have only just begun, and yet you already seem tired. The misfortune that has befallen you can be thought of as a sort of trial. A trial? Indeed. I am an observer on your journey. I would do nothing so thoughtless as to force you to make choices. You do not need such provocations. I already know that you shine brilliantly enough. Yes, that is part of your brilliance. Personas are masks of resolution, strengthened by controlling one's heart by forming bonds. You understand this well, don't you? Yeah, that's how we all fought up till now. Yes, indeed. But one's heart is intangible. 
It cannot be seen and cannot be felt. When polished, it releases a strong light unlike anything else. But it can also be clouded by trivial things. Have you ever felt that way? You truly are strong. I find that very appealing about you. But you should remember that not everyone is as strong as you. From here on, you will be forced to re-examine the things you know as bonds. How will you face the changes to come, and what choices will you make? Changes, huh? Is this our, our school? Hey, what are you guys? Where'd they go? Is anyone there? Was it the P1 Grand Prix? It's almost time. Did something happen? I doubt she'd run into any trouble she couldn't handle, though.
Mitsuru-san, our activities are supposed to be undercover, correct? Yes. For undercover missions, it will be necessary to keep all personnel and vehicles from being noticed. Right. Mitsuru-san, may I say something that I've been meaning to say for a while now? No. Understood. All I told them was to give us a car with enough space. Um, our contact has arrived. Oh my! This was not our designated meeting area, yet he has discovered us. Want to know how I did it? <clears throat> we appreciate your cooperation, Detective Kurosawa. Long time no see, miss. And I guess, was it? Indeed. It has been a while. Oh, sorry for staring. A humanoid weapon. I was skeptical when I heard, but seeing you in person doesn't leave any room for doubt. I'm sorry that I kept it hidden back then. 
It's all right. It would have caused more of a headache if you'd gone around looking like that. Seeing you laugh like that makes it harder to believe you're a machine. I shouldn't make you stand while we talk. Please, get in. Ah, sorry. I haven't seen you in a while, so I had a lot to say. I found out quite a bit regarding the case you had me look into. First, I reviewed the report on the incidents from last year. One of the suspects mentioned the word persona. So what went on here last year? It's probably related, but I wasn't done there. Parts of this guy's testimony were even more outlandish. If you can take what's in the record at face value, it seems Persona users can enter TVs within the Inaba region. Enter... TVs? What does that mean? Just what it sounds like. You physically stick your body into the screen and go inside. He claimed there was another world in the TV, and dropping people inside it was the method behind last year's murders. This all sounds rather absurd. I'm surprised it was included in the police report. I got in touch with a detective in charge at the time and said the same thing. Apparently the report was filed by a young partner of his at the time. He'd entertained the wildest testimonies like this one. He sounds like quite the oddball. If this was what really went on, the police would have had no chance cracking it. But that Detective Dojima is one shrewd guy. Even with all the supernatural hocus pocus surrounding the case, he caught the culprit. That's all I have for you right now. I should be going. I doubt either of us has time to reminisce over the old days. <laughs> it's funny though. I thought the fighting was over, but you guys surprise me every time I see you. Thank you very much, Officer Kurosawa. Uh, why don't we at least see you off? Oh, well, that's all right. I've got my own car. I doubt my department would appreciate your tastes. <laughs> If I ever showed up for work in something like this, I'd be the talk of the force until the day I retired. Mitsuru-san, this could be bad. Our sense of social aptitude is in question. Ugh, I can't deny that. Um, what should we do now? Ah, uh, yes. First, we'll need to test the claim that Persona users can enter TVs. There is a discarded TV over there. If the environment does not matter, we can use it to test the phenomenon. Kurosawa-san, may I ask you something? Why are you working with public safety? <laughs> You're asking that now? I thought that would be your very first question.
You can spy on Mitsuru Kirijo and her shadow operatives to your heart's content and never find anything suspicious. But for that to be understood, at some point or another, everything she does has to be investigated to eliminate those doubts. In which case, it's better someone like you do the investigating than someone official who will never understand. That's all there is to it. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll leave the rest in your hands. stand out no matter where they were, so they could only park here. Same as mine. It's hard to say definitively since this is my first encounter with it, but I believe this reading is from a personality module. Does that mean our retrieval target is inside the TV? Sounds like fun. Is that... Akihiko? <laughs> you didn't show up at the rendezvous point, so I went looking and found you here. <laughs> this whole TV thing is pretty interesting. Akihiko, what on earth are you wearing? Just what were you doing overseas? Didn't I tell you that I was on a training expedition? Don't tell me you came here from the airport like that. Does the concept of keeping a low profile mean nothing to you? Mitsuru-san, I believe we have lost the right to complain about that. Get inside from that TV, right? And what are we waiting for? Still the same Akihiko. We don't know the situation inside yet, and we'll need a secure means of getting out. So what? If we want to get this Labyrus back, someone has to go inside, right? Well, that's...
Our target hijacked a plane to throw her into a TV in this town. If we sit on our hands, it's possible we'll be put in serious danger. We're different from how we used to be. We made the choice to fight shadows as professionals. That's why I traveled around the world and trained harder than ever. And now that something's actually come up, you're hesitating? We agreed to do this. I'm ready to stake my life on the mission. All right. Wait right here. I need to go make a phone call first. Okay. But make it quick. The other members will wait here in the car. Yeah. If we all barge in and something happens, we'll be devastated. Now that you mention it, at least one of us should be staying behind as well. I am not staying. <gasps> <laughs> us three will be plenty. We'll end this in a flash. No problem. <laughs> The same as always. Although, huh? we have no idea what might be waiting for us on the other side. Don't get careless. Right. <clears throat> this situation... It brings back memories. <laughs> Ready! Why enter the TV? What's going on? Is the stolen cargo inside the TV? Well, if they're determined to enter the TV despite not knowing the risks, 
I can hardly allow cowardice to prevent me from following. Where am I? Is this inside the TV? Yasagami High School. I do recall that name from our map of Inaba. An existing high school has been completely recreated inside the TV? Wait, where are the others? Akihiko! I guess! I can't reach them through my persona either. This place is highly unusual. Another dead end. So lonely. Hmm. What was that? I'm scared. Not alone. It hurts. Why? Why won't anyone listen? I don't recognize the voice. Perhaps one of Amagi's friends. I didn't ask to be born a machine. How come no one understands? What's the difference between normal people's hearts and mine? A machine? Is that Labrys? Labrys! Are you nearby? Answer me!
Going by what she said, that had to have been Labrys. Sounds as if her heart has developed further than we thought. I didn't ask to be born a machine. It pains me to hear that. We can't allow victims like her to be tormented by sins of the past, whether they're human or not. Is this... a gym? This feeling in the air reminds me of somewhere, though. school what's going on
This... Is this the music room of a school? No sign of Mitsuru-san or Akihiko-san. Did they land elsewhere? So much noise. I can't contact anyone like this. I recognize this place. looking costume you've got on oh well I oh of course you are mixed up in this racket too aren't you 
No, I am not in this tournament of my own free will. Really? Then you mind letting me go? I'm the student council president. I can't be letting people run wild at this school. Student council president? Didn't I tell you to let me go? Are you trying to get in the way of my work here? Um, if you happen to know, could you please tell me what sort of place this is? Huh? It's the first floor of the classroom building. Can't you tell? Huh? Is it possible that you don't recall entering a TV? A TV? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. Can I go now? Before you do, please tell me something. Who are you? Who? What'd you stop me for if you didn't even know? I just told you. I'm the student council president. What hole have you been hiding in? The elections were just last week. <sighs> are we done now? Because I got places to be. Please, wait! <sighs> that wall again! Seems I am forced to try a different route. It might be the announcement room.
feel like I'm being led somewhere. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry ain't gonna cut it. What were you gonna do if you hurt one of the students here, huh? You can't go pulling that stuff without student council approval. All right, the jig is up. I'm putting the kibosh on this tournament right now. Hey, wait, hold on a second. I'm not in this because I want to be. I'm trying to stop the tournament. Why are you here, by the way? Wait, did you fall inside a TV? Fall inside a TV? What kind of nonsense is that? I'm Yu Narukami. I was a second year at Yasugami High until last year. Huh? Last year? But that uniform... Oh no, this is... Uh, kind of my usual equipment when I'm in the TV world. Equipment? Uh, never mind. Uh, forget it. Well, if you were only around till last year, I ain't gonna blame you for not knowing. I'm the new student council president. Nice meeting you. It's your turn to spill. You said you ain't in the tournament because you want to be. Then what are you doing here? And what's this tournament about in the first place?
everything but you don't know anything so if i got this right you didn't start this but your friend did hmm. well you don't seem like you're lying You're worried about your sis. Come on, let's go check it out. Um, where am I? It looks like an auditorium, but wait, is this our school's gym? Oh, where's Chie? Yukun? Hello? Isn't anyone around? What is this? Who'd go to all this trouble? Oh, ho, ho, ho. are you on a hot date, Sensei? Well, that's fine with me, of course. But shouldn't you keep your mind on the fighting? Whoa, you look so mortified! That's the face I was hoping to see! Mets, aren't you? 
What's the idea? Raising a ruckus like this without running it by the student council. Pack it in and clean all this up already. Leave this to me. That was pretty harsh, Teddy. Hard to believe a womanizer like you would say such things. Huh. What's so attractive about a shameless liar like her? Liar? You know something about her? Come on, Sensei! Your opponent's getting tired of waiting for you! With the next challenger, come on down! Goodness, you're safe. What's the matter? It's uh, nothing. Are you all right? Has anything odd happened to you? Odd? No, I, I don't think so. Nanako might be in here. I'm heading to the announcement room where Teddy is. I need you to protect this girl from me. She might be a victim of all this. Why do I have to do that? It's not like I know her or anything. Yukiko, not you too. Calm down and listen to me. Can you understand what I'm saying? Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? I can hear you clearly. What did you mean by you too? This is probably a trick the enemy is playing on us. They're trying to get us to fight each other. I'll say it one more time, Yukiko. I'd like you to protect this girl from me. Sorry, but um, I 
don't know how to put this. It just feels like you're being really selfish. You always help people who have nothing to do with you, and I admire that. But where does that leave us? It's always your friends who get put in danger because of your self-centeredness. Sorry, but you need to stay back. Whatever you see here, try to stay calm. Promise me you won't run away. Persona! Sakuya?
this? Why are you doing it anyway? These guys are friends! What's so much fun about making friends fight each other? It's all right. Thanks, though. It's not all right! This is... Sorry, but you're not getting your wish. What? Did you think this would be all it took to break us apart? That it would make us hate each other? Sorry to say, but that's a huge mistake on your part. I believe in my friends. They'll never get taken in like that. You're so stupid! What kind of sensei are you? I'm warning you now. If you really are Teddy, then we'll get you back to normal no matter what it takes. Even if it costs us our lives. But if you're an imposter hiding behind Teddy's face, I will make you pay for toying with us. Um, that girl's come around. Yukiko, are you alright? I'm sorry I couldn't go easy on you. No, it's okay. You weren't your usual self, but I could tell by your eyes that there was something going on. I'm sorry too. Did I hurt you? Kinda, yeah. I sure wouldn't want to get into it with you again. Hey, did I say things that offended you earlier? Um, yes, you did. I don't need to know what I said. I just wanted to see if my guess was right. It looks like our enemy has the power to confuse our senses. My first opponent was Yosuke, and he told me a similar story after we fought. Huh? You said something bad to Yosuke-kun too? What did you tell him? Y you sure you want to know? Personas. Yeah, we should at least explain to her what's going on.
everything, but you don't know anything. Don't tell anybody, I'll cry, you stay here, you don't want to make feelings, hold this name, sit cause you don't hate, don't tell anything, but it ain't key, I'll control your own fate, invisible, real enemy, bring your mind, sit And that's it in a nutshell. So, that's what you meant by falling into a TV. Yeah, which makes me believe this school could be a part of your mind that's materialized. The school came from me? That's a lot to swallow. I'm not surprised. Why is it different this time around, though? Usually the victim's shadow appears first. Teddy who's hosting this tournament, what if he's actually this girl's shadow? Huh? I noticed he got agitated when I called him an imposter. A fake Teddy would mean he's someone else using Teddy's form. I see. If this place reflects this president's heart, her shadow must be here. And right now, the strongest candidate is... Check out the announcement room. Hmm? That General Teddy's behind the whole shebang, right? And if he came from me, then I gotta own up to the responsibility. A student body president, I can't let this go. W uh, wait, you're being reckless. We'll take care of the shadow. You need to. What? Get out of this TV world? And how am I supposed to do that? Go on, show me the door. Well... Your little cousin's in the announcement room. And you're gonna go save her, right? I might not be as strong as the two of you, but I'm no slouch in a fight. Wouldn't it be better if we went together? No, don't you understand? This world is... I know it's dangerous, but there's got to be something only I can do to help. Hell, that aside, I can't leave after causing so much trouble. Making friends fight each other. I'm going on ahead. 
You don't want to waste time arguing, yeah? Please, you have to go after her! I believe in you. Really? A cape. I knew it. Whoever set this up only thought about blocking people's paths. Anywhere there already was a real wall got overlooked. Then I'll just go another way. I wonder if he's okay. Hmm? Oh. Steak!
I'm so hungry. Geez, I'm practically drooling. <laughs> uh, should I try jumping down from here too? No, bad Chie. I need to focus on Teddy cuts over steak cuts right now. I, I mean, just Teddy. Ah, uh, I gotta stop getting sidetracked and go to the announcement room. <laughs> you seem flustered, but time has no meaning here. It seems you've emerged victorious and have come away with a piece of the truth. Though you are in a garden of deceit, you have the vision to go forward. Very impressive. Is that student council president's shadow really the cause of all this then? Who can say? All I know is that you are getting ever closer to the truth. There is one thing I can tell you. If that girl's shadow is the cause of this misfortune, she will face her trial. But it's separate from your fate. You have your own trial to overcome. Keep that to heart. My own trial? Everyone sees various things in you that draw them to you. Salvation. Hope. I myself find fascination in watching over you. Fate may not be the author of your trials, but you are destined to be tested. <laughs>
wait! It's too dangerous to go alone! Calling me impressed that you managed to catch up to me so quick. Promise me that you won't leave my side. And you can't do anything rash. If you can't agree to those terms, I'll have to force you into protective custody. This is a matter of life and death for you. Sure thing. Then let's get to that announcement room together. something? What is it? It's tough being forced to fight your friends, huh? <sighs> uh, oh, sorry. You don't gotta answer. No, you're right. If I could avoid it, I would. But I believe in my friends. You mean your friends won't hate you after the fight? Or you think they'll understand that you don't really want to fight? I don't know. Both, maybe. I mean, there's no way we'd fight each other without some kind of reason. What if... you had to kill each other? <laughs> huh. Sorry, that was probably over the line. I don't know why I said that. I wouldn't let it happen. an invisible wall. I don't think I can go through here. An invisible wall? Oh, that must have been why you broke out of the mime act every now and then. 
Well, if I can pass through, it must only be blocking the tournament fighters. This world sure is out there. Careful, this probably means. <laughs> Is your snout okay, Sensei? Jeez, you're such a clutch! You're still using that form? It's getting old. Why don't you just show your true self? Boy, you've gotten peevish! I don't have any idea what you're talking about! Okay, so who's my next opponent? Ooh, now you're getting into the spirit of things! Let me guess, you're starting to enjoy beating up your friends? Okay, with the next challenger, come on down! That's what I thought. You're the last of us, after all. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling you'd be next, too. Yeah, you know what they're doing, right? Yeah, I know. The stuff we say gets twisted around so we end up fighting each other, right? Don't worry. You're the son of a bitch who left us as soon as the last case ended, but you're still our good friend. I mean, you have it easy. You're just fighting your friends. I have to keep killing over and over. All because of you humans!
More stuff about killing, huh? This president was talking about it earlier, too. This must be. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'll give you a taste of the pain they put me through! Let's do this, Chia. Well, well, round three of the P1 Grand Prix already. Word on the street is that the carnivore may have a slight advantage. Will you, Senpai, all talk and no skill, manage to eke out a win this time? Let's get this show on the road! Ready? Shocked at how much of a difference there is between us. So the others are safe too? Oh, what a relief. I was pretty worried. really are tight, aren't you? Makes me jealous. Well, we did spend a whole lot of time together last year because of that case. Sure, I was surprised to hear such weird stuff coming from him, but I know he'd never say any of that to me. Wait a sec. Who are you? Huh? Just 
student council president? You mean ours? That doesn't seem right. I remember the new president being a guy. What are you saying? I'm the student council president. Who else would I be? Mm, I'm pretty sure, though. Maybe if you told me your name, I'd remember. My name... I... My name's... What's wrong? My... Memories... No! I don't want to fight anymore! Why do we have to kill one another? What? No way! Wow, who is that girl? Did I say something to offend her? She did mention something about her memories. Come to think of it, her memories did seem a little muddled. Maybe she was on the verge of getting them back. What kind of memory would make her go nuts and run away like that? I'll wait here. Make sure you rescue her, okay? Kihiko, 
and Igis. They both seem to be okay. Can you hear me, Igis? Mitsuru-san! I am relieved to finally hear from you! Is Akihiko-san with you? No, we were separated, but I've confirmed his safety. I'm sure he won't be defeated that easily. Let's exchange information while we can. I saw that girl a moment ago, though I lost sight of her when the invisible walls blocked my path. I've been told she looks more human than you. Is that possible? Not only that, she was almost indistinguishable from a normal person. I couldn't believe it either. Yet I definitely sensed a personality module. I don't believe there's any mistake that she is Labrys. I see. Don't worry about meeting up for now. Under the present conditions, we'd only end up fighting amongst ourselves. Understood. I don't know how Labrys ties into this situation yet, but be careful. Hello? I lost her. same voice from before. Labrys, is that you? Why are you laughing? What about this is funny? Who is she addressing? I don't want to fight him anymore! That reminds me. Hanamura said that the environments here are formed by the thoughts of those who enter this world. Could these be Labrys's innermost thoughts? Is that why everything about this place radiates her feelings? What do you think we are? Uh. She's not addressing anyone. These are her memories. I see. So that's what's going on. I'm finally beginning to see the relationship between this tournament and Labrys. So many invisible walls, one after another. Miss President can pass through them. I don't know if I can keep up the pursuit. Moment.
Senpai! Can you hear me? Please answer me! That voice... Is that you, Rise? The real one? Thank goodness! I've been all alone since that weird fake Teddy captured me! And then you were all fighting each other! Where are you now, Rise? Can you locate where I am? I'm sorry, I don't think there's time. I'm stuck in the announcement room. Please, Senpai, you have to hurry. If you don't, he'll... Ah! Rise! What's wrong, Rise? Pardon me for interrupting while you are lost in thought. I didn't mean to startle you. You're... um... It's nice to meet you. My name is Igis. And no, I am not human. You are the one from the introduction video, listed as... The Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel, Narukami-san. Correct? Nanako is important to me, but calling it a complex is stretching things. Igasan, was it? Why are you here? Our primary objective is the destruction of shadows, but we have come to this world on a different mission. The destruction of shadows?
And does that mean... Yes. I have a persona as well. Though my body is a machine, personas are the strength of the heart after all. What is this mission of yours? Aha! So that's where you got to, Sensei! I've been looking all over for you! Ooh, who's the honey? Were you in the middle of trying to score with her? As if you didn't know, you're the one who lured us both here. Oh my, did you figure it out? I didn't have a choice after those guys decided on their own to horn in on the fun. You're a bright boy, Sensei. You know what's coming next, don't you? Sorry about this. Do you know the rule of this tournament? Only the victor of each match may move on. Yes? I have nothing against you, but I'm in a hurry for my own reasons. Neither of us, in other words, can back down. Then there should be no hard feelings. That will not do. We will speak more of this after one of us wins.
Here goes. There's no need to hold back. Indeed. Let us do battle. I don't know why you're making us fight, but it's pointless. We aren't fighting because we hate each other. The reason we can fight is because we respect and trust each other. What are you talking about? Why did you set this tournament up? Pardon my eccentric entrance. What? I will. Yeah. 
Oh, please excuse me. I didn't have the faintest idea that someone would be here. Faintest? Fame? Fiend? Something along those lines at any rate. Are you from the Velvet Room? My, is this what's known as being hit on? A forbidden ritual where one human approaches another based solely on appearance and bets on the inner self being equally attractive. What? No, I'm not hitting on you. You just remind me of someone I know. Do you happen to know anyone by the name of Margaret? Margaret? Oh, actually, we should introduce ourselves first. I'm Yu Narukami. Oh, that had slipped my mind also. My name is Elizabeth. Dear me, to hear that name fraught with memories in such a mundane, remote place. Margaret is indeed my sister's name. Can I take that to mean that you are another guest of that room? Elizabeth Sana? Huh? Well, I guess that's the case. It's true that there was a time when I visited that room. But why is a resident of the Velvet Room here? Did Margaret send you with a message or something? I am currently utterly neglecting my duties. Is that so? I have a certain desire. It may take a very long time for it to be realized. In order for my wish to be granted, I require a power much greater than what I have. The power of the wild card that changes bonds into strength. I have a feeling that the key lies there. 
I know a little about the wild card, but... I feel that the first glue to granting my wish lies within that power. Glue? Flu? Influenza. Something along those lines at any rate. Might I suggest that you and I fight? Oh, how excited this is making me! My expectations are ascending skyward at Mach speed! To be direct, I'd like for you to show me the potential slumbering within you. Um, let me make sure of something, just in case. You understand what I'm saying, right? There's no illusions at work? Such parlor tricks can get stopped! I see. So you're actually in your right mind here. That's kind of... uh... impressive. won't be able to hold back.
I see. I am quite content with this outcome. It seems you possess true strength. I believed you were at the limits of your stamina after the battle against Igis earlier. In actuality, your heart almost gave in during your struggle with me. But each time you faltered, the many hearts supporting you gave you strength, helping you to rise again. Ugh. This was truly an intriguing battle. I believe our encounter has borne much flute. Flute? Flu? Chimneys. In any case, I am quite pleased. ask you something? To continue fighting in order to prevent an undesirable future, it is a path of endless hardship. Would you still choose to walk it? Yeah. Working for a better tomorrow isn't just a one-time thing. The tomorrows keep coming. I would keep fighting for the future we want. Well then, it's time for me to bid you adieu. By your leave, I, Elizabeth, am out of here. Are you all right? You shouldn't force yourself to move. You are very kind. We've only just met, and yet you are worried about a machine like myself. Isn't that normal? Seeing you smile like that, I don't know. I just can't think of you as a machine. You have a heart, right? Then it doesn't matter whether you're man or machine. You have defeated me in single combat. That will make it difficult for me to continue forward. But I believe I can trust you. Will you listen to my mission directive?
So, there's another girl robot with a heart like you, and she's the cause of all this? We came to this world to retrieve her. My older sister, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys, is in this world somewhere. Tell me more about Labrys, and I'll do what I can to help you get her back. Unfortunately... So you don't know what she looks like, what she can do, or what equipment she's loaded with. Is there a possibility that she looks, well, more human than you? You mentioned earlier that she was your older sister, so I assume she was built before you, but... My sister was an older model, a prototype for the fifth generation to be exact. It's doubtful that she would look more human than myself. All right, in any case, I'll keep an eye out for her. But right now, I'm heading to the announcement room. If Labrys is the cause of this, then I'm bound to meet up with her eventually. Thank you. I will trust my sister's fate to you. I'll make them pay. Someone here? Again?
it seems my sister has caused you some trouble. Though this may mean that I'm not the only one who is drawn to the light of your potential. You have gained a new resolve by overcoming many doubts and falsehoods. You have reached the threshold of truth, but man's hearts are mutable. That is why a resolve to continue fighting is more important than any one victory or defeat. Yeah, I understand. But this will be a difficult battle without end. Are you equal to the challenge? If I have my friends, if I'm not alone, I can do it. I see. I have heard your answer, but it's not enough. Remember what I told you before? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. You're finally here! Hello, Sensei! Congratulations! How does it feel to have won the P1 Grand Prix? Teddy, where's Nanako? Nana-chan's right here. See? Nanako!
was so close! Just a little more and Sensei would have been a goner! You bastard! Senpai, it's all been him from the beginning. He can make whoever's looking at him see him as someone else. So he's not actually taking on other forms? No, he's just distorting the things you see in here. Me to show someone who isn't here. But you actually saw this Nanako girl? <laughs> You're hopeless. Who in the world are you? <laughs> you still can't tell? Seriously, the, the level, level of intelligence around here. Fine then. Here. Get a good luck. I am a shadow, the, the true self. self. That's my face. How about it? You, you wanted, wanted to see, see what, what I am, am, didn't you? Why, why does she look like me? That's its true form. That thing is your shadow. This is a shadow? She really came from inside me?
Labrys, don't look away. If you don't accept her, she'll get even stronger. I don't know what your past was like. It must have had some painful memories. But you have us with you now. We're going to get you out of here. I wish I could have made them feel my pain. What it's like having to murder one another. That sadness and pain and anguish. Everything went black and I was always left alone. I'm a weapon. A machine made only to fight! No human can understand my suffering! Stop! I've had enough! I'm human! I'm not like that! <laughs> oh, you're still clinging to that! Then take a look at what you really are!
Son. Man, as soon as that invisible wall thing disappeared, I knew you did it! Mm -hmm. We ran into Aikasan along the way. She told us about Labras and everything. A little late, wasn't it? If someone told me what was going on from the start, I would have... Into the TV when you were half asleep. For crying out loud, you really know how to blow it when it counts. Hey, what you gonna tell them for? Uh, I don't think this is the time for that. Huh? Naoto? Yeah, we were surprised too. The job she was on turned out to be related to all this. These are my friends. We've all faced our weaknesses at one time or another. Your weaknesses? You've all faced your shadows? Sheesh, enough doom and gloom. If you don't hurry and accept her, she'll get all lonely. But... I'm a weapon who didn't want to fight. And I dragged you all into this. You're still hung up on that? It's over already, dummy. Your jumping skills were amazing. But you're surprisingly sensitive, aren't you? Uh, what does that have to do with her jumping skills? You're really cute, Labby-chan. You're so... Metaluring. Are you all listening to me? Labrus needs to face her shadow now, and... Nice to meet you, Labrys. Or rather, sister. I am Aegis, the seventh generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I am your successor. <gasps> what? Um, excuse me, but you're... I mean, are you also... Yes, I too am a robot. It just occurred to you now?
My mission to retrieve you has brought me here. My colleagues are waiting for you. Are they gonna lock me up again? Well, considering all I did, of course they will. We can discuss that later. Right now, there is an important task you must carry out. I gotta do this, huh? It's okay. We're all right here with you. Yeah. That's right. You're me. You're the way I was on the inside, screaming to be understood. The pain wanting to be known. You're all I couldn't say. You were always inside me. You're me. A machine with a heart. I'm sorry I ignored you all this time. I was the one who left you all alone. <laughs> No, you are me, after all.
Mitsuru san, Akihiko san. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo, Labrys' handler. I'm Akihiko Sonata. Sorry for all this trouble. So, um, what's going to happen to Labrys now? Well, you deserve to know. We were thinking of sealing her away again. But our report from Igis says that thanks to you, Labrys has acquired a persona. She's hardly a rogue test unit anymore. Besides, she has a heart. We would never treat anyone with a heart so poorly. Yeah, we did it! Thank goodness! I'm so happy for you, Labrys! Good job, guys. Let me say thanks. You're... not gonna lock me up again? No fooling? We only seal away objects. If I did that to you, knowing you have a heart, I'd be no different from the Carijo Corporation of old. Labris, you've been blessed with good friends. It's not over yet. What? It's the same communication system as ours. Everyone, step away from Labrys!
I cannot gain access. She is being hacked. It isn't coming from inside this facility. The signal originates elsewhere. You mean outside the TV? This is just a little extra resistance. Now, entertain me. She suffered enough. I won't let you hurt her. She was quite easily defeated. Evidently, I didn't push her far enough. Well, she is a test unit, so this is as far as my little game goes. Who are you? Why are you toying with people's emotions like this? Labrys isn't a tool. If you want to fight, then come out and fight! <laughs> You're quite passionate. You, Narukami, was it? Labrys' shadow was only the mastermind of the tournament. I see now. You're the true culprit behind the whole thing! Indeed. It was I who stole Labrys away. Since I don't have a persona and can't enter a TV, I needed a puppet that could run amok for me. Labrys's persona was only partially awakened, so I had a feeling her shadow would appear if she underwent a little suffering. You got the better of me this time. You deserve to know at least that much. This time, so your scheme hasn't ended. Well then, everyone, until we meet again.
It seems whoever our adversary is, they're connected to us. I advise you not to get involved in this matter any further. From here on, you should leave this to us. What? Wait a second. We went through this whole big thing and that's it? She's right. There's no way in hell we're backing out of this now. I understand how you feel, but this is too dangerous for you. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. Trust in us and let us work. Guys, I think we can trust Mitsuru-san. We should let them handle this. So, let's just get the heck out of here. I'm sure that he will continue to increase his strength of heart. It is a given with so many friends. I am a little bit envious. Well then, farewell. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you listening? Huh. You seem lost in thought like that frequently of late. Could this mean that you finally began to be troubled over things, like a normal person? How scathing of you, as usual. Believe me, sister, I am not as bad as you. What's the matter? My dear sister, I want to tell you a fairy tale. Hmm? What's this about? In our world, at the far reaches of the Sea of the Soul, there stands a large door. 
A soul which devoted itself to sealing that door slumbers there. Why did it do such a thing? That soul is risking itself to prevent those who have lost sight of life's brilliance from luring the world to self-destruction. It has become the guardian of the door, of the whole world in fact. That is a very sorrowful story. My dear sister, do you think I can save that person? Hmm? I thought it was a fairy tale. It may be impossible alone, but what if I joined forces to do it? This person's friends are capable of miracles at times. This person you speak of, is it... I hope you're not planning to... Oh, don't be silly, my dear sister. I told you, it was only a fairy tale. <sighs> oh, to a certain degree, all of your stories are like fairy tales. I don't know what's troubling you, but be sure that you don't neglect your duties. No, that's not quite right either. To think I was unconsciously afraid of something and keeping my distance from it. That is quite a surprise. Though I cannot defeat that monster now, I may in time gain the power to truly erase it. To think the day would come where I would behold my own arcana and not that of a visitor's. And the beginning of a journey. It may be that my journey has finally truly begun. The fool, hmm? Well, I am aware that I still do foolish things. Please 
wait for me. One day I shall surely see my wish come true. Velvet, oh velvet. My master has a large nose. The actions you took, the way you withstood this trial, it truly shook me to my core. You have bested the misfortunes dealt to you and learned an important lesson. Now, I have a personal matter to discuss with you, not as a resident of this room. The one with malicious intent who struck at you today? This malice has not faded or subsided in the least. I'm worried about you. It may be that fate will deal you a third trial. Do you have the resolve to face it? <laughs> you are strong. I will never cease to find you intriguing. <laughs> it seems my fears were groundless. I'm already anticipating our next meeting. Until then, farewell. Here you go, Mitsuru-san. Ah, oh, thank you. We will be leaving Inaba tomorrow. Keep that in mind when making preparations. Understood. It's me, Fuka. Come in. I'm sorry I had to summon you on such short notice. Oh no, it's alright. I was on vacation too, after all. How is Labrys? She's still resting. There was a lot of stress on her, so we might have to carry her out. I see. I looked into the records. Labrys was built on a self-contradicting foundation. Self-contradicting? Unlike with Igis, when Labrys was being developed, no one had the know-how to create a personality from scratch. So, it seems like they took an actual girl's personality and used it as a base.
a living girl. So that's why her heart is unexpectedly advanced. But if she had all of the original girl's memories, a contradiction would occur in her self-awareness. Normally they'd make adjustments to prevent that, but even then they couldn't guarantee it would be completely safe. That's why Labrys was loaded with a self-deceiving function in case a conflict arose in her self-awareness. She was deceiving herself? Then the function that interfered with our perception... It was listed as meant for infiltration, but that was a technicality. Its true purpose was a safety mechanism. I think that should be okay now. Labrys, when did you get here? Sorry to sneak up on you. But after I faced my shadow and learned how to use my persona, it's hard to explain, but it felt like my emotions settled down. Actually, that may be what happened. Facing one shadow could be said to be correcting one's self-awareness. That must be it. Your developers came to the decision that it was an insurmountable problem, yet you overcame it. How do you feel? Does anything seem off? Oh no! You guys have treated me so well, I feel kind of guilty about it. My body's all fixed up too, so there shouldn't be any problems there. I see. I wanted to talk to you about where we go from here. From here? You mean, about me? Originally, we planned to take you back to the lab on Yakushima, but that was when we still thought of you as a mere object. Is that what you want to happen? Uh, what else is there? You could tell us what you yourself want. You do have a heart, just like us. Who knows, maybe you could even go to school eventually. Me? Go to school? Even I guess has been to school. And that was when she knew much less about the world than you know now. Thinking back to that time is... Uh... It's rather embarrassing. Hmm. school. It sounds great, but I feel like there's something I gotta do first. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's been my dream for a long time to go to school, but someone's after those guys. Someone's trying to wreck their lives. I want to catch whoever it is myself. I... I want to look after those guys. Security Department Shadow Response Unit would be glad to have you. Welcome to the team, Mavris. I get to work with you, sister! I guess... That reminds me... I am your younger sister, but I am more experienced than you. This may be somewhat confusing. I'll 
I'll give you a tour of the lab tomorrow. Make sure you're ready to write things down. Tomorrow? We're leaving Inaba already? I haven't even said goodbye. I can't leave without seeing him one more time. Oh, that's good to hear. It means you've made some friends. Friends. I guess, get in contact with them by whatever means you deem necessary. Understood. Hmm, how should I contact them? I only know their names. Hmm. Yamagishi, your usual method should prove effective once again. Huh? Uh, but isn't that invading their privacy? Permission granted. Remember, we have official sanction to operate now. Is that it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh man, it's so long. What the heck kind of car is that? How does it even turn corners? You're looking good, Libris. Sorry I made you come here all of a sudden, but there was something I really wanted to tell you guys. I decided to work with Mitsuru-san. I want to catch the darn culprit. Not only that, but uh... You know how you guys had my back during this whole mess? Yeah. This time, I want to get yours. You go and do that. last you've seen of me. When I come back, we'll hang out some, okay? I'll be waiting, and so will everyone else. <laughs> come back soon. <laughs> to lose such a rare beauty again. It's so tragic. That's what you're sad about?
guys are the best. I'm glad it was you who were there when I woke up. Well, see ya! really gone. Seriously, wish she could have stayed a little longer. I would have liked that myself, but they have their own tasks that must be done. Up too. If you're gonna use the knife, be careful, okay? Make sure you don't cut yourself. Uh-huh. I'm always careful when I cook with you. Sorry, Nanako. Could you put the knife down for a second? Okay. Hello? Is this Yosuke? Like you don't know. Listen about yesterday. I thought this was coming. Yosuke, do you remember the Moonlight Bridge? The one from our class trip? Yeah, sure. I used to be a city boy too, remember? Hey, were you checking out the Kitty Joe group online? back down from this, right? <laughs> now you're talking, partner.
The investigation team is back in action. glad things went well. Oh, but first, it's good to see you again. This is becoming a real reunion. Indeed. Things are going to heat up from now on. I must get back and reallocate my staff. You're including me in there, right? Every opponent I made a mistake against on my journey, I made sure to go back and get a rematch. This'll be no different. It should spur discussion amongst the staff again about working Yamagishi into our unit. Huh? Um, I'm still not sure about joining any special unit. I didn't know the sky was so blue. Back at the lab, they only let me out at night. But this... I feel like I've seen it once before. That same bright blue sky. I see now. The scenery from your memory was the pier outside of the Yakushima Laboratory. The date was the final day before you were sealed. You made a heartfelt wish there. You hoped that your successor would make the same wish to see someone precious to them, and that meeting would take place at the pier. You dreamed that your successor would be able to go beyond that pier to places you would never be able to see for yourself. And that even if your memories were deleted, your feelings would be passed on to the next generation. That's right. It was at that very place where I met the friends I have now. When I was searching for someone, I found myself naturally drawn there for some reason. I think it was because of your wish. My wish? You mean... The thing I wished for that day actually came true? Indeed. It stayed alive for ten years. Thank you, Labrys. It's because of you that I found happiness. Huh. I didn't know that. My desires. All the feelings I got from the others. They didn't go to waste. <laughs> I... 
I gotta thank you, too. You made me remember something important. There's someone I have to find. I need to meet her so I can tell her something. I'm sure you will. You're not alone anymore. We can search for her together. Yeah. Thanks. Mitsuru. May I talk to you? What is it? It's unlike you to be so formal. This won't be any time soon, but I'm thinking of leaving the Shadow Operatives eventually. What? Huh? May I ask why? There's something I want to do now. I can't do it while I'm part of an unofficial group like this. I see. I think you would be well suited to it, Akihiko san. Of all the things you were going to say, that's it? What? what do you mean, that's it? Even I know it's pretty ordinary, but... Whether you man a police box or become a career officer, you should do it. And if you do, then I'll consider your circumstances, to an extent, whenever I need you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you planning on making me belong to two departments at once? You wouldn't use the Kirijo name for that, would you? Bite your tongue? I won't do anything. But even if I don't, it'll happen on its own. You underestimate the organization's need for you. Leaving that aside, if you're going to wish to become something like that, then there's something you need to do first. You're right. I need to train more and... No, I meant going back to college.
Do not worry, Akihiko-san. I will calculate the units and time necessary for graduating and plan the most effective curriculum for you. I'll be counting on you, I guess. I've been thinking this for a while now, but Akihiko seems to need someone to manage him. I'm honored. Another try for your face. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. Let's hurry up and do a toast. I only get a 30 minute break. Huh? Are you working today? I can't take much time off during Golden Week. Teddy, you were out without permission a couple days ago, so be ready to pay the price. No, but that wasn't my fault! You meanie! Jerk! Nurse lover! Oh, <laughs> speaking of which. Shh, quiet, you! Attention, please. It's time to announce the reason we're all here today. Isn't it to welcome back Yukon? It's about yesterday's incident. You guys weren't satisfied with how things ended, right? Of course not, but... So, why not launch our own investigation? <gasps> Does that mean... That's right. The investigation team is back in action. Oh, -ho -ho! now you're talking! Wait a moment. I thought we were going to leave this to the Kirijo group. Did I say we wouldn't get involved? Oh, you're right. Actually, my partner here brought it up first. Though I'm with him 100%. Now that's our sensei! You're splitting hairs rather finely there. So you're not on board? Of course 
I am. Thought so. All right then, let's find the real culprit. Well, I gotta get back to work. Come on, Teddy, let's go. Who's this Teddy you speak of? I don't know anyone with such a pretty name. You got some nerve trying that on me. Sounds like someone wants me to make his next shift a living hell. Ah! No! But I'm still gonna skip work! I wanna have fun with Nana John! We're gonna party till we drop. This time, for sure. Boy, was I surprised when you couldn't brought that up. I didn't tell her we wouldn't get involved, was it? <laughs> Can you believe him? <laughs> no kidding. I wonder what Matsuri-san would say if she heard that. Kirijo group, huh? If things go bad, this can be an even bigger problem than last year. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you really stepped up to the plate this time. I think I like this new side of you. This is hard. So many choices. What color should I get? Hmm, you're really into this. Hey, how about this? I think it'll look good on you. Oh, no, it's not for me. Oh, right. We might see her sooner than we think. I just know she'll love it.
sleepy. Oh, since Yukon's with us again, we've got to give what we decided on our best shot. Investigating on our own, huh? out for a moment coming mom you to tend to the store while I go do some shopping. I'm expecting a package, so make sure you sign for it when it comes. Yeah, fine. I'll take care of it. staring at them for. Don't worry, they're all as adorable as ever. I wasn't staring. Sheesh. Stop making things up. Well, I'll be going then. Try not to glare at the customers, okay? I won't. Hurry up and leave. What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives, as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo. As a member of the Kirijo Group's founding family, Mitsuru Kirijo strongly wishes for the corporation's stigma to be cleared. Yet the Shadow Operatives are not ultimately a means for her to clear this stigma. Her first priority is to protect and save those who are at risk. 
The way she handled the lost cargo in this case made that much clear. Though discarding it would have been more advantageous and it would have been simple to destroy in secret, she chose not to do so. She sees the restoration of the family honor as a byproduct of her true mission. I will continue my secret investigation. It is apparent that the Kirijo group still harbors many dark secrets. Yet I must note that no matter how their internal affairs are worth watching, we need not trouble ourselves overseeing shadow operatives. Mitsuru Kirijo does not shrink from the responsibilities she bears. We will never gain leverage over her based on her family's sins. Even if the true culprit behind this matter has ties to the Kirijo group, she will... No, this report is no place for conjecture. <laughs> I suspect this is only the beginning.